Hello, Frazzly here. This is episode one of Frazzlecast. Well, I apologize, but something happened with our recording, so the first hour did not go through the way we planned. So, we are calling it Fell Corrupted, and you can see, well, listen to Fell Corrupted episode one, hour one, in the same podcast feed, but we'll understand if you just decide to listen to episode one, hour two plus, without listening to hour one. I mean, we had Pokemon Go discussion, but I think Emma and I are the only ones who like Pokemon Go. I think War Chief's probably very mad at us to talk about Pokemon Go. Well, enjoy the show. Okay, everyone, we are back. We're having technical difficulties. Isn't that episode one that always has of any episode? It's a lot of hiccups. Yeah. Technical so, difficulties are the inevitable future. So so I thought uh, we, we were going to do uh, a, a trivia pursuit contest now. That sounds good. And uh, let's... Uh, do you want to restart it, or do you want to continue on with, with, with what you guys have been doing during our technical difficulty break? No, nope, we're, we're doing it fresh, because it's going to be between you two. Okay. Where um, I will let the other person pick whatever color for the person who I'm going to read the question for. Instead of rolling a dice, because, well, I could roll a dice. It's all up to you. Roll the dice so it's random. That way, at no point, neither one of us have to worry about getting over-competitive, because I, I might. And then I might Google what colors are the hardest, and I might start giving those to him. Well, you know, that's the thing. I don't is trust once, myself. Once you get that color, I won't give you that option again. So no. let's say you get a green, you're done with the greens. Hmm. You're trying to fill up your pie first. I can do that, or I can try. And uh, should, should we do the stealing rule? If someone gets it wrong, can the other person steal it? Oh, yeah, totally. I don't know. What do you think, Frasley? Sure, I, I'm confused, but let's uh, go ahead with it. Okay. So, um, someone pick a color of random, and I'll roll the dice to see who goes first, or who just wants to go first, either or. Red. Blue. Oh, and blue wins. <laughs> nice. So does that mean I'm first, or I pick who goes first? Um, your choice. I'll go first for uh, yucks. For are you saying for yellow or for for yucks? What's yucks? I'm sorry. Sorry, is that a little too American? <laughs> yeah, uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, for for laughs, I guess. Oh, for chat. Okay. Chuck. 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 Razzly, I need a translator. Uh, something European. Something not American, basically. Yeah. I have Brit- a British background. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh, so you probably know a lot of slang that would confuse the living daylights out of me. No, I just grew up um, hearing bloody bleep. And the F word is like the sec, like Smurfs. Think of Smurfs. Instead of saying Smurfs, say the F word. Okay, so um, we're gonna start with a random roll of the dice for the color. You are getting purple. All right. I don't know what the colors mean. All I know is a question. Yes. Well, I, if you're gonna be getting the purple question. Uh, Heroes, uh, Crypt Stalker, Battle Gear is a raid tier set for which class? For which class? Yes. Um, and it is the, what's the name again? Crypt Stalker Battle Gear. Crypt Stalker Battle Gear. Warrior. Wrong. Frazzle, do you want to steal this? Sure. Uh, what's the question again? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> Heroes Crypt Stalker Battle Gear is a raid tier set for which class? Paladin. Wrong. So no one got this one. The correct answer was Hunter. Oh, that sounds like a oh, warrior yeah. thing. Now I remember. Okay, Crap. so I know Frasley. war, not not the game. Frasley's turn. 
Frazzled, sorry. And I rolled purple again. Sounds good. And it's uh, Frazzle or Frazzle. Frazzle's my nickname, so either way. Items with names featuring blue lettering are what rarity? Uh... Don't laugh at me. Don't laugh at me. Blue <laughs> items. Blue right. lettering items. Uncommon. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. I'll, take <laughs> yeah, like... I'll, I'll take a chance to steal it. <laughs> Alright, go for it. Rare. Correct. I knew no. that one. <laughs> so you no longer have to worry about the purple questions because you don't get those anymore <sighs> yes so no more questions about gear okay war chief it's your turn and you are getting green yay my second favorite color a uh, thong i can i can really say names by the way um and sorks type out the names just type them yeah, out. I'm gonna, all right, I'll type them Because I can I usually really... figure out the pronunciations, but I can't actually say them. Okay, so Cthulhu, Cthulhu and Yog saron are members of which unbeliev unbelievably powerful agent Old gods. race? Okay, you got that one correct. You got green. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to switch back and forth so Frazzle can have a chance. Yeah, mercy rule. Maybe. Well, that, that's usually what I hear. Refer okay, you get green as well. What is the name for the race of large warriors native to Halging, Halging Forge. Howling Howling Fjord. Fjord. Yeah, Fjord. The race? Yes. Valkyr. Yes, correct. I should know that as a warrior. Yeah. No. Nope. Nope. He said Valkyr. It's Vrykul. Oh! oh, oh. Yes, it is too. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not giving you that point because you already got green. Oh. Yeah, I don't want the point. I just. You're yeah. right. You're, you're right. That, that's right. actually pretty off. <laughs> it's close, but it's all. It's very close and very far all at once. People it listening is. to this are, are like, what? Man, that gnome doesn't know anything. Okay, so well, War Chief, this gnome, is your so. question. Uh, you get blue. Favorite. What is the name of the. Ice Troll Capital and Venturing Subzone in Northrend. The Ice Troll Capital in Northrend. Um, Drakthoron. Or Drakthoron Keep. It's the Dracardi Empire. Does not look like it's the right. Type it. Okay, you type yours so then I can actually compare okay. so I don't give you the answer. Yay! Speech and penman and reading difficulties. And World of Warcraft having a lot of words are names very similar. Nope, that is wrong. Hmm. That's what I thought. I said, uh, uh, what is the name of the ice troll capital and adventuring subzone in Northred? Fraggle, do you want to? Oh, subzone. Right. Right, yeah. Whoops. Uh, say it one more time. I'm sorry. What is the name of the ice troll capital and adventuring subzone in Northred? Uh... I want to get this either, so don't, don't feel too bad. Pass. Can I take a second chance? No. Can I take a second chance not for the point, just for the thing? I yes. think I figured it out. Okay. 
It's the, it's the, the actual full zone, right? Zuldrak. Nope. Really? Then it's what does it say? Gundrak. Gundrak? Yes. That's not a subzone. The question got it wrong. It said the ice troll capital and venturing subzone. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. I mean, technically, it could be incorrect. I mean, it's not the game's not, the game's licensed by Blizzard, but you, you never know. Plus, some of these are outdated now. Yeah. Okay, Frazzle, this is yours. You no, get good. orange. Why am I still screwing up your name? I'm sorry. Oh no, it, it's it's Frazzle or Frazzly or Fraz or that gnome or Hey You. Or the guy who kept messing up all the uh, technical difficulties today. <laughs> That's okay. I can't do names, apparently. All right. So you got orange. A character must possess a celestial planetarium key or a heroic celestial planetarium key for their ray group to encounter which boss? Oh. So oh. I think I know this one. I'm going to say the... Uh, the architect? I'm just stab in the dark. Think, think of a raid. I, I know. I was thinking of the raid. I can't think of the name of the raid. It's the... the I mean, I'm thinking of Old War. I'm thinking of... Um, it's um, a raid that everyone compares all raids to, saying this was the most epic raid. Something about Wrath of the Lich King? I just kind of... Yeah, no yeah, hints. No hints. Ice Crown Citadel. No. Oh. Molten Core. <laughs> I don't know. Technically, that was a guess, but I'll I'll let him keep guessing because <laughs> at, at least just pick any random boss you remember, basically. Uh, Lich King. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's not the Lich King. Okay, so do I get a chance to uh, steal? You have a chance to steal. I'll go on the Observer. That is correct. You have now gotten orange. Th th that was an old war, right? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so see, I, I I was close. You had the right raid the first time. <laughs> yeah, I just couldn't remember the name. I was like, the stranger? Yeah, I was going to... My next unhint would have been um, Heralds of the Titans. That still is like... A, a... Yeah, that would have done much for <laughs> You need to practice your lore, man. I know. No, 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 Her no, Herald of the Titans is the achievement that you get in there if you have only max level 80 and the appropriate gear for that boss. Yeah. It's an well, achievement. I mean, this is lore. Well, also, uh, one of the, I think one of the nicknames for Algalon was the Herald of the Titans. That was uh, one of the things he referred to himself as, if I remember correctly, which probably... I may not because I'm still only running off of three hours of sleep. Which is probably why the achievement. Okay, War Chief, your turn. And you've already gotten purple. You're already... Okay, blue. On I already... what? Didn't I? Or was that the one I messed up? This is the one you messed up. Damn. Okay. On what island? This is going to be so easy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> On what island can the Dark Moon Fair Dark Moon be island. found? <gasps> I didn't know yeah. that one. <laughs> okay. I, if, if you open up the map, it literally Dark Moon Island. So. Yep. Now I finally happen. got my blue back. Yes, you got your blue. You're just missing pink and yellow. Yes. How many does Frasley have? Zero, I think. Yeah. No, you have a... Zero? I thought he had at least one. No, no, because the really simple oh, yeah, purple cause... you stole. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that, Frasley. Okay, all right. This one, I really have faith that you'll get it. You got blue. Blood Mist Isle and Ar Azuri Mist Isle are located off of the coast of what continent? Is this mine or Frasley's? Frasley's. Oh. Blood Mist Isle. Yeah. I, 
exploding I'm over here. I'm going to take a, a guess and I'm going to show how ignorant of a nub I am. I'm going to say Kalimdor. That is correct. Damn you. you. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> that one would have been so easy. I, well, I just got. I mean, that one's an easy hail mary guess. Like, no, there, there's only so many continents to choose from. I was trying to think because I've explored both islands for achievements. So I was trying to think, or both continents. I was trying to think. Okay, which one? Kalimdor is the one. Yeah. Yeah, that gives you a slight advantage over me for a question like that because I have the only place I've gotten explorer. You are cut out. Oh, the only place that I have Explorer for is Northrend, so you have an advantage or an advantage over me in terms of like location-based questions. I'm not looking for the hardest question right now. Well, I mean, it's a question for me, so you should be looking. <laughs> I'm also looking for one that I can actually read to. Uh, okay, yeah, that that's a whole different story. Yeah, I'm trying to do both. That's hard and easy. Or, if um, if you can't pronounce it, just drop it into the chat again. I think the only reason I can figure out the pronunciations is because it's novel so much. No, that one's easy, too. That one I can read, but it's easy. Well, just for just for yucks, what is it? What is the name of Thrall's white wolf companion and mount? Um, I didn't play pre cataclysm. I don't know. I haven't played enough on the private server to have actually. So far. But it's in the book and 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 stuff. Uh, which book? The prequel to the World of Warcraft movie. Prequel? Oh, the pre. Oh, so the prequel to the Warcraft movie. I'm guessing this is a fairly recent purchase. Then this Trivial Pursuit thing. Oh no! Um, this is Thrall. Thrall is uh, after. Never mind. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah, get, uh, maybe um, I'll I'll use this as your question then. Well, what color is it? It's for yellow. Okay. Um, uh, just, the name of Thrall's wolf. Um, the worst part is I used to know this one. Can't remember because I thought it was irrelevant because it's just a pet. That was a mistake. Uh. I'm just going to pass it to Frasley. I don't know. No guess at all? Snowdrift. Say that again? Snowdrift. Very close. Oh, man! Frasley? Frazzle? The gnome? Yes. Okay. What is the name... Of Thrall's white wolf companion slash mount. Um, Warchief got the first half of it. <laughs> Don't tell him what it is. If he wasn't paying attention, that's his own fault. Yes. Oh boy. Sour thing. Uh, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> what tribe is Thrall from? Durotar. No, Draenor. No, that's his home planet. What's he from? Or what did you say? <laughs> his clan. What's his clan? Oh. His Dur clan? Yes, but it's his cl uh, clan, and the name represents kind of part of his clan, which you got the first half right. Oh no! You said what was his pet? What was yeah, his? Yeah, uh, yeah. I want his pet. pet. I'm not, I want him to think of the clan. What the clan is, is the frog. Oh, okay, I thought you were changing the question. Fro I confused yeah, him no, no, I'm not changing the question. I was just trying. I can to name his clan easily. Yeah, everyone. Can. And actually, 
Just to be clear, Thrall's homeworld is not Draenor. It's actually Azeroth. He was born on Azeroth. You're, he was you're right. He was conceived in Draenor. True. I yeah, should know for but the he movie. was born on Azeroth. Still yeah. conceived in Draenor. That doesn't make it his homeworld, though. Especially but, since he spent, like, the first 20 years of his life. And plus, if we were going to conceiving, I, I'm, I'm a child of the 80s. By being conceived, that means I'm a na- Yeah. I'm not. But. <laughs> Our listeners if we're like, going to be going by conceived, I'm a 90s kid. All right. Yeah, Pat Galabunga. I meant Galabunga. 80s kid. Okay. So, um, should I just give the answer? Yeah. Um, the answer of Thrall's white wolf companion at Slash Mount is Snow Song. Snow Song. Oh, oh man. I am so kicking myself. And like I said, you got half of it. I know. It was the second half. Oh, I should have known. I am kicking myself for that right now. Oh, I bet you are. Uh, I am. My ass is officially black and blue. Okay, so, Presley. Yes. Okay, this one, I have faith in you. It's another yellow. Which legendary panda brewmaster is featured in the opening cinematics of Miss of Pandaria? Oh man, this is th- th- this is showing my. It's on the box. <laughs> I know, I, I know. <laughs> Storm Stout. Okay, what what's the first name? Um, well, I got the I, I got half of the, the answer right. <laughs> you did, but what's the first name? Here, hold on a second, Brasley. Don't guess yet. Don't guess yet. Okay. Are you looking up the answer? Oh, oh, oh! Uh, this this came to me um, fully by my own into into intellect and my own intuition. I believe it is Chin Stormstout. <laughs> That is correct. You have now gotten yellow. Yay! Yeah, I mean, I mean that came all You're fully, welcome. fully to me. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. You're welcome. And leave it at that. Your intuition says you're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, intuition. <laughs> Even I'm if you're sorry, I had to. We're so close. I had to give it to you at that one. You were oh. so close. And I apologize to listeners. I, I guess I'm showing I don't know. My lore. Hey, this is how uh, we learn. Yes. Basically. The first way to learn to learn lore is to learn what you don't know. Live on a podcast. Yeah. It's the best way. And then have it be posted for all ages. All all eternity. More or less. Yeah. Is there a problem? No. <laughs> All right, next question. Okay, so this is for you, War Chief. Yavol. You're getting fuchsia. Which is not a repetition level. Hostile, disliked, honored, and revered. Disliked. That that is correct. I think I forgot to put push to talk down when I said damn it though. Why? Because I got it? Yes. <laughs> I I I'm pretty good. Alright, I guess what I'll do after this one, um I'll find like a quiz online. Well you, and you I'll just start quizzing you two. It, after you have this. It? Okay, because you, you still Even have if I more. lose, I'll just quiz you two. Even if I lose. I don't okay. Really think that's going to happen, but even if I lose, I'll just quiz you too. Bradley. Yes. Which of the following could not be found in a Winter Veil uh, gift? 
Clockwork Rocket Bok, Bot, Red Rider Air Rifle, Wand of Holiday Cheer, or a Santa Hat? <clears throat> oh. I'm going to go with the Santa Hat because you have to get, find that the That is correct. <laughs> Yay. That's her fault. <laughs> Okay, you're back on yellow. Yellow. All right. Shoot. Yellow is the only one you need. Hold on, give me a sec. Oh man, <laughs> it hurts. Actually, this it is pretty, hurts. this is pretty cool. This podcast under deter your pursuit. I enjoy it. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe make it like, I don't know, one day a week, like just Trivial Pursuit Week, Quiz Week. Absolutely. Sort of yeah, yeah, that sounds good. That's the only day I can guarantee every week I'm going to be on anyway. So. I'm totally up for that. Okay, I think I found one. Which demon advisor stood by Sylvanas in the undersea city until he betrayed, uh, betra- until his betrayal with the Grand... Apothe. Apothecary. Yeah. Prunus was revealed. Which uh, what advisor? Demon. Which demon advisor stood Which by Sylvanas in the undersea until his betrayal? Veramathras. I don't like you. <laughs> I played Warcraft 3. I remember at the very end of Warcraft 3, the Frozen... Like, the last time she showed up, she was making a deal with Vera Mothras to get back at Arthas. So, uh, the total score is 6 to 3. Okay, yeah, I'll find something and quiz you guys. Um, I won, right? <laughs> Your chief one. <laughs> yeah. But we won for being more bitter. knowledgeable about the game and that I can't say names to save my life. Yay. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, here's one. What is the original name of the Black Temple? Kalimdor, Karabor, Kenzor, Kadgar, Koronor. This is for Emma. Actually, no, for Frasley, since he lost last round, so I want to give him a little starting advantage. Potential starting advantage. At the risk of... Coronor? No. Emma, do you want to steal it? Or do you Uh, want me to repeat the question as well before you make a guess? Hello? Repeat, please. All right. The original name of the Black Temple is Kalimdor, Karabor, Kenzor, Kadgar, or Koronor. The second one. Please repeat the name. No, because all I can remember is the last one, which is Koronor. Uh, the second one was Karabor. Is that yeah, your final yeah. answer? Yes. Yeah, that's, that's correct. Far. That's Oops. correct. Nice. Yeah. Hmm. The language most trolls, uh, most of the trolls in World of Warcraft speak is called what? For Frasley. Uh... I hear you punching something. My own self, like, ah, come on, come on. Okay. It's not orcish, because they're not orcs. If you want, I can give you a couple of options. Yes. (laughs) Please, met my intuition. All right. So, Drakari, Amani, Zandali, or Swahili? Drakari. No. Ah! (laughs) 
Emma, would you like to steal? I totally want to steal. All right. So, the language of most trolls in World of Warcraft is what? Drakari, Gurubashi, Zandali, or Swahili? The Zandali. Correct. Oh, you're right. I've seen that word. I used to main a troll, so I know that one pretty well. Hey, man. Hey, man. How's it going? How's the voodoo? You'll For... come get the voodoo. I was thinking of that, yeah. Uh, let's see here. All right. This one's kind of a freebie for Frasley. <laughs> Got nothing so far. Um, all right. The Nomragon exiles are ruled by whom? Ah, 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 ah. High Lord Tinker. The High, the high Tinker. Final answer? The, the High Tinker, yeah. You need a name. Um, Mechatork. Me- Mechatork. So, what's your. So, your final answer is what? Mechatork. I'm going to give it to you. You were off by a little bit, but you got the name, so I'll give it to you. Okay. It is um, uh, Mechjaneer Mechatork. Okay, okay, yes, yes. I, I knew it, it was something like that. I just yeah. knew Mechatork was... Because I knew he was the high tinker. <laughs> all right. I would have not known that at all. I've been... All right. Fill in the blank. The Calderai, night elves, worship blank as their deity or deities of the moon. Emma. Nehru? The Nehru? Wrong. Frasley? Balloon? Correct. The Nehru are not gods. They're basically another alien species. Um that helped the Draenei escape from Argus when Sargeras was kind of taking over and converting the Eridar into Minari. Um, let's see here. Mentioning said deity, Ilun, who is the high priestess of said deity? Ooh, Emma? Ooh, ooh. Uh, Tyrande Whispering. Or, yeah, Tyrande. Correct. Taronda, yeah. The Taronda Whisperwind. Okay, so the current score is three to two. Um, Let's see here. Name two of the original Titan key, or uh, name two of the original Titans of the Pantheon. Who's this for? You. Uh, I concede this this question to Emma. Hold before you do that. Let me give you a hint. The pillars of creation. Um. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. There's four of those. You only need to name two. Uh, uh. I'll also tell you this. Elun is not a titan. Okay. Because that, oh. that, that, that would be kind of cheating because that was the answer to the answer. Uh, Kronos. <laughs> um, Zeus, but Zeus is a Greek god. Um, Kronos is also a titan in Greek mythology. I know. He is not one of the titans of the Pantheon. And- I'm not going to win the next BlizzCon trivia contest. No. Hey, this is just getting you practice and ready for it. You'll be awesome by the time you do it. Dun, 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 just remember, dun, novel. Dun, just dun, remember, dun, dun. novel. N-O-B-B-E-L. I, All right, I, Emma, passing it to you. Name two of the original titans of the Pantheon. I want to say Aragon, but I'm not sure. And that's the only one that's sticking in my head right now. 
That is not even one of them. Damn it. The two I would have gone with, personally, or I'll, I'll name three. Sargeras, A&R, Amon Thul, and actually a fourth one, Agrimar. I keep forgetting Sargeras is a head titan. Was a titan. Um, all right, so nobody gets that point. Let's see here. Who rules the Iron Forge? Bradley. You were cut out. Who rules Iron Forge? Who uh, who rules the Iron Forge? Pre Cataclysm. Muradin. Oh. Oh. Emma, you want to steal? There's no point because I have no clue. So you basically pass. Yeah. Magni bronze beard. Oh. Muradin took over after Cataclysm. Yeah. All right. So once again, no one gets the point. Uh, let's see here. What is okay? Who was? The first ogre mage. I'll give you some names. Uh, Gruul, Dentarg, Cho'gal, Mogor, and yeah, those are the names. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> who is it? Is it uh, Fransley? Is it yours? Yeah, it's yours. <laughs> Who's the ogre mage? Who is the first ogre mage? Gruul? Dentarg, Cho'gal, or Mogor? At the risk of probably losing it, Cho'gal. No. I told you. All right, so Emma, want to steal? I'm going to attempt to steal, and I'm going to say Mogar. I am pretty sure you're wrong. I'm just going to check real quick. I'm pretty sure it's Dentarg. But you may be correct, so I'm checking real quick. Mogor is... Uh, yeah, it's Dentarg. All right. No one gets the point again. All right. The original Hygel World Tree was named what? Teldrassil, Vordrassil, Nordrassil, Aldrassil, or Yggdrasil? Razzley? I'm going to guess, because we already have it, Nordrassil. Correct. Yay, because I was thinking it can't be Teldrassil, because that's our current world tree. No, it's not. That was the one I was actually going to pick. Teldrassil is the home of the Night Elves. It is not the only world tree. The world tree on top of Hyjal is still Nordrassil. Okay. But so it no longer provides the Night Elves with immortality. That's what the difference is. Okay. But I was like, I've heard Nordra still. Yeah. All right. So let's see here. We'll make it's this a tie one. right now. Yeah, three to three. All right. Um, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> At me. <laughs> oh, I can't move on to the next thing. See, I'm really bad with names, so... I'm actually impressed. A tangent, this Discord is actually working out pretty well. Yeah, um, let's see here. I have to fill in stuff to continue on. Blank uh, from blank. If you want, then, we can, uh, we, can co we can make it a tie for now, and we can come back to, to this one where, where uh, Emma and I have to fight to the death on trivia. The next episode. How's about we make this uh, the next the next person to get something correct um, gets the win. Sounds good. But if it's the per if it's the person who goes first, the other person gets a chance to steal it because okay. otherwise well, it's not fair. Why don't we just both try to yell it out and whoever says it first wins? That sounds good. Uh, okay. What is Thrall's original name? Gar. Uh, 
Boo! I know this. <laughs> Duratar. You have a time limit, so. What? Duratar. No, it's not. D Durotan? You are both wrong. Duratan was Thrall's father. Thrall's original birth name was Goel. I know oh. that. I heard you going, go, 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 go. No, it's not that. <laughs> That, that was kind of painful. All right. The Draenei, or Eridar's original home planet, is named what? Argus! Frasley got it. It's Argus. Yeah! yeah. Remember, Eridar. Because the Eridar came from Argus. Yep, and then they moved to Draenor. They, they named the planet more or less after themselves, the Draenei, the exiled ones. Oh... Yeah. Or do you guys want to keep going and see who can get to six first? Uh, seeing how we have we still we still have a full show agenda, probably I'll be the winner today. <laughs> uh, let's take a vote between the two of you. Are you also with that, Emma? I'm good with that. Just means I have to come back and uh, beat you. Absolutely, sounds good. <laughs> and then Frasley can search up a quiz and see. Yeah. Uh, See if I can beat you. Yeah, that, that works. Oh boy, I'm gonna lose. <laughs> so, all right, here's one that I'm just curious if either of you know. What is Sargeras's title? The Deceiver, the Defiler, the Spellweaver, the Cataclyst, the Destroyer. The Destroyer. Destroyer. Yeah. What is Kill Jaden's title? The Deceiver. Yeah. Yep. I was thinking that. The Eridar, who are not Draenei, lost ones, broken ones, are called what? Ashen Tongue. Like I said, not broken ones or lost ones. The a the Ash Tongue are broken. Oh, 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 oh. Um... Basically, what are the ones that stayed with the Legion called? Okay, I even said it earlier. Then I'm thinking of a completely different one right now. Um, I have no clue. Same. Minari. Uh. Alright, what is Deathwing's title? The Destroyer? <laughs> Frasley? Deathwing. Um. World Destroyer. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's just the, both Deathwing and Sargeras have the same. The Destroyer. I was thinking that because I I remember an achievement that said something about Destroyer. I just can't remember if there was more to it. Technically, another correct answer would have been the Cataclysm because Deathwing kind of named himself that. Remember when we kill him in a, at the end when he's dying? He's like, I am the Cataclysm. Oh, you're right. So technically, that would have also been a correct answer. And I think you're uh, the one who helped me get the Deathwing kill for the first time. Yeah. As I recall, it was a bit of a pain in the ass because of the whole running back and forth on his back. Especially, yeah, especially because I was a mage. Yeah, that also made it difficult. Um, yeah, so I'm guessing... We should be continuing on with the rest of the show? Yeah. Or anything else that needs to be covered, I suppose? Like Just a little lore lesson on Argus. <laughs> Absolutely. And 7.3 PTR whatnots. Man, how long is this episode going to be? <laughs> um, and I uh, think... So, so hey, far, it's over two hours. We don't have a little black box anymore. True. Black, oh, yeah. And, and I think I've uh, found a new host for the podcast, so... That's, so we're not going to be using Chromecast anymore. I don't think so. I mean, especially the Scourge working pretty well. I, I mean, I think this is working out good. Again, we're, we're, this is not a, a professional podcast, but we're having a fun time. <laughs> I'm having a fun time. Profes at least. Professional is for chumps. Absolutely. This is uh, this is how gnomes do it. So back when we, before we got into the issues, because oh, and this all happened when Warchief went went to, to get the uh, achievement for staying regular. I have to admit everything was going fine until you left to use the restroom. <laughs> I'll have you know. <laughs> so I, I swear I didn't piss on anyone's router. I are swear. You, are you sure? <laughs> I swear. Uh... 
I don't know about that. I, I mean, I've seen I've seen cats take down take take down routers while they were in the middle of a podcast before. <laughs> so I'm not a cat. I'm allergic to cats. Okay. Well, what I was. You a, say. Yeah. I, I I actually am. I mean, I'm not going to show you any medical records, obviously. Well then. But just, pi- picture I guess didn't just happen. take my word for it. Picture or it didn't happen. No, it's video or it didn't happen. No, no, no. It used to be picture didn't happen. Are, are all the cool kids saying it's video or didn't happen? Man, yeah. that's... Wow. Well, because a picture can be edited much more easily. Yay, okay. Photoshop for the win. Okay, I have to admit, <laughs> our younger generation is definitely smarter now. Okay, well, so... I know my generation is smarter than the one right before yours, because right before your generation, Frasley, was the people who ate lead-filled paint chips. True. Yeah. I think you just barely missed being part of that generation. Yeah. But I mean, because I was technically was born in the 90s, so I missed what that. What generation was that? The dumb one. Well, what year? Uh, let's see here. I would say probably anything between 80 and 87. And I was born in the 90s, so. I, know that just I was ages. born in the 80s. Which 80? <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, 86. Okay, so... Okay, so you're a paint chip eater. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever... No, wait, no, you're in Canada, so it doesn't count. No, I no, know, in... I, I had some metal toys with probably some metal... Well, actually, I played with my dad's metal toys that probably had lead paint on it. He's from the uh, 50s. Did you did you uh, ever put those toys in your mouth? I don't know, probably. <laughs> okay, yeah, you're in the paint chip eaters. You're, you're a paint chip eater. Um, or at least close enough where you might have lead. Air uh, warning? Flint, Michigan much? Um, I, oh, I'm, I'm, reading yeah. a, I'm reading a book about a church for... It's fictional, but this church that's made out of lead and they are licking the, this church. So I'm thinking they're, they're, they're licking lead. <laughs> oh, isn't that Jeez. the church in England? Th- th- that there's might no be. Cathedral. There's a that's... cathedral in England in... Uh... Canterbury. Okay, so so maybe it's lead actually made of lead. I believe it is. Yeah. So so so, th- so this book, um, off to be the off to be a wizard, is not. It, it's probably based on some uh, fa- factual stuff. Nice. Or maybe that's why I remember it. So cathedral in out of lead, and yeah, they probably did like the lead church, and that's probably why people died. Anyway, on to some. Inspirational stuff. So we had Zella and Nihar. He had been uh, he had emailed us and we were talking about his week in WoW, and he he had just joined Convert to Terrain. He says I was able to level my DK to eighty nine by Tuesday before taking a break to work on another tune. On Tuesday, I transferred my Panda Mage to Airy Peak to become Fire Lord Snarky. I spent Tuesday catching the tune up to Legion and getting my fat artifact weapon, which I found pretty lame for the fire spec. For the past two days, I have been living in Suramar, taking up every bit of rep I can so that I can unlock Legion Fly on, on all my characters. I went from 311 to chapters to 10 of 11 today. While questing in Suramar, I was able to get the drop, a torn invitation, which leads to getting the fox mount from Suramar. Oh, I don't like him right now. I still don't have that. <laughs> Same. I, 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 he has the fox mount? He just got it today. I was like, uh, seriously? I know. He hasn't done much weather training. I mean, I mean, he might have done I mean, some. Good for him. Yeah, good for I'm him. So, but... Absolutely. It's Damn just, him. I've got friends who have some amazing RNG, and they're just like, ah. I have, I have to say, I've gotten some really good RNG, so I can't really complain. Um, like, I have the Lost Time Proto Drake. And oh, I, I what? Got it, yeah, I got it the day before Cross Realm was happening, and I was just doing it at 5 o'clock in the morning when I was doing my Jewel Craft Daily. Oh, man. Uh, I, I've got Blue Proto Drake. That's the only really rare one I've got. I've got the Ironbound Proto Drake, so... Have invincible. Oh, what? I know. Um, yeah. a jealous of Dungeon Crawl Network has invincible ashes of Alar. Um, he he has the fox mount. I, he has pretty much all the all the rare ones. 
I don't have the fox mount, but I also have Ashes of Lar. Okay. I got to go farming later on. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of them are really easy and not that time consuming. It's just uh, redoing over and over again. Yeah, you just do it once uh, a week type thing. And um, basically, uh, I only set it on one tune and I just farmed it on one tune over and over and over. Okay, I I should probably do that because then that because that way. Uh, All right, let's continue because I interrupt because of, you know, stealing that. Oh no, you're you're fine. I, you were saying what I was thinking. I was thinking like, yeah, that fox map. I guess in other good news, um, I after half the expansion already, I finally got my own legendary. Nice. You Yay, can say that's congrats. that's legend. But did you have your dairy today? I um, hope you're not lacking some to- tolerance. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I love cheese, so if I were lactose intolerant, I'd be killing myself by just eating too much cheese because I am not stopping cheese. Hard cheese actually does not affect people who are lactose. It's the soft cheese that affects people who are lactose. Hmm. I love American cheese, so. Well, if it's a hard type cheese, you're good. It's, it's, it's soft. Are you talking about the artificial cheese square thingies that's in the plastic wrapper? That no, I'm us. talking about the. I'm talking oh, about. You're talking about old... cheese whiz. No. Uh, oh you know no, those... no, the aerosol cheese. No, I'm talking <laughs> about the. Okay, so you know how Kraft has that deli. <laughs> you know how Kraft has the deli deluxe American uh, American cheese. They're not yep. individually wrapped singles. It's the only one they have that is not cheese product. Only one that's real cheese. They have a real cheese one. Yeah, here, you know what? I'm going to take a picture and send it into the Discord. Because I can tell that your, your state of shock, I can tell you don't believe it. I didn't believe it until I read the ingredients, but it's actually cheese, not cheese product. I will be right back. And now we lost War Chief. So how's the rest of that email going? <laughs> no, I, I'm loving this, all, all these standards. It, it, it's great. I mean, this is, this is what I was hoping. That would be random, spontaneous. So yeah, he was saying that he was he was um, he was very excited to um, he was very excited to get the uh, fox mount. He says to to the end of the day, I finished all the world quest caches, and to my surprise, was able to get a legendary belt. I was so excited since that was my second le- ever legendary, and it was a huge upgrade. And he also upgraded his legendary ring to eye level nine seventy. Pretty productive week for me, and now I have my. DK to work on since I unlocked like Legion content, and then he ended his email where I make him where he makes me hate him even more. He says, "By the way, gnomes suck." So yeah, that well, was. At least he doesn't say anything about the warlocks. True. Uh, yeah, he probably because is that af- would be just going too far. He's probably afraid uh, with, with the with the warlocks because gnomes can't really do anything to to get back at him. I mean. We can just get angry and go like, why I gotta? But well, you can blow up his bed. Yeah, but then, but then, like in in Warcraft, there's always for the players you can respawn. You True. the cheese is gone. The cheese is gone. So this cheese is fictional. No, it's in my stomach. <laughs> um, I there's none left at the moment, so, so I'll, I'll just take the pictures. Like- I don't have the wrapper. Yeah, the cheese is fictional. No, no, I'll prove it tomorrow (laughs) as soon as I have it. No, I think I might even have it later today. Um, No, I'll I'll prove it. All right, so but it's like a craft brand, though. Yeah. It even says craft right on the label. I'll send a picture of it. Boyfriend is saying is the Vita stuff. Velveta. Velveta. No. Which is like cheese whiz in a broth. Yeah, you know Cheese Whiz, I've seen it in that craft thing, and it's like in a brick. So I can't wait to see your cheese photo to prove that craft has real cheese. All right, this is the picture online, but it's the best I can do. So. Wait, hold on, guys, I'll be right back. 
He probably should have muted his mic. So Anywho. he's getting the uh, keeping it regular achievement now? I don't remember what that is. Is that the one where you go back to your garrison? Yeah, and go use the outhouse. You go to your garrison daily to use the outhouse for an achievement? Yeah, there's a, you don't have to do it daily. You just have to go there once and go in the outhouse once and there's an achievement. Oh, I probably already have it then. <laughs> there. I just sent I just sent it to you. I didn't put it in the uh, Discord. I but. see that. It looks like it's fake cheese, though. Sorry, Read uh, the label. It's actually American cheese. If it were fake, it would have to say cheese product. It's actually American cheese. Process, uh, pasteurized process American cheese with added calcium and vitamin D. It's process. Yeah, but it's actual American cheese. American cheese is a processed item. There's no such thing as real American cheese that's not processed. As far as I'm aware. I wonder if Canada has cheese. Um, I know you guys have like Kraft mac and cheese. Sorry, I only yeah. know the stereotypes. <laughs> I meant like I real cheese. Oh, real cheese. Uh, I mean, you guys are pretty close to Wisconsin, so you probably have plenty. Oh, I've got a cheese hat. Oh, dear God. <laughs> I gotta see a picture of that. Okay, let me find one. So you have a picture of you in a cheese hat. She's yeah. got a picture of her wearing Jack Harkness's jacket. Why do I have a picture of me doing that's actually, like, worthwhile? Um, something I put on Twitter a while ago, my face isn't even in it, but it's actually... I'm proud of this picture. Just give me, like, half an hour to find it in my camera roll. I got And I got a picture of me in a pizza hat, too. Pizza hat. Apparently, Canada produces more than a th one thousand fifty cheeses. Really? Yeah, I'm at the Canadian Cheese Directory right now. Apparently, cheese is so important. We have a directory of it. <laughs> nice. There's me in the cheese hat. So yeah, all you uh, live listeners, or not live listeners, all you people listening to, to the recording, definitely check out the Frazzlecast Discord, and you can see pictures of us. Well, at least oh, wait a minute. This isn't live, right? This is You're going to be like editing this as a... Well, somewhat. Does that mean I can curse again? No. I still would prefer not... <laughs> oh, man. What did you just do? Hit yourself? No, I, I think don't. the mic dropped. No, I was hit, hitting, <laughs> hitting the desk like, come on! Man, so, if it's a recording, you said you can bleep it. Yeah, but that was on the old system. I mean, I can still bleep it. I, I, I just gotta... At this point, I gotta listen. <laughs> I'm gonna have to listen. Okay, so... I have a little story to say, because we're go totally going off topic. Yes. Sure. Alright, I've just... At this time, this is past... Just finished watching the World of Warcraft movie. Shortly after, I had to go to the hospital because I was in a lot of pain. And just before they gave me some happy drugs for the pain, I realized they put me in the kitty room. And I'm going to put in Discord what I saw. Remember, I have World of Warcraft, the movie, in my head. Okay. And this was when you were on the happy drugs? Yes, before I was getting the happy drugs, this is what I was focusing on. Just out of curiosity, when you say happy drug... It was painkillers. A really yeah. strong painkiller. Okay. Medif oh my god, it's the cheese hat. Okay, after the cheese hat. <laughs> Medivh? <Medif? laughs> That is actually really cool. Oh. That's actually a really cool. That's a really good piece of art, whoever painted that. I know, but the, I'm thinking of World of Warcraft. This is totally medieval. Yeah, I was thinking that. I was, I was looking at it. I was like, medieval, yeah. It's medieval playing with fell magic right there. <laughs> nice. Oh, by the way. Oh, yeah. Uh, Illuminati upper, confirmed. I did, I, did, I did Upper Heroic Return to Garrison uh, a day or two ago. That level is... Far out. Oh, the return to Karazhan? Yeah, I did that for the first time. And the second level, oh, that was like 
things were moving around. It was just like oh yeah, it was really cool. Upper Return to Karazhan. Yeah, I, it was oh, so cool. All right, I'm trying to figure out which one I hate more. The original chess game or the new chess game? Because if those for a range, the new chess game is annoying because they'll go in these like little blips where you can't attack them. Yeah. And it's painful for healers because healers have the same thing where a player steps in a wrong tile, now the healers can't see that player and can't heal them. Wait, there's a new uh, chess game? The chess game is a little bit different where you don't have control of the chess pieces. You just have the bad guys and you have to try and defeat them. Okay. Yeah, and certain squares will light up and hurt you. Oh, so yeah. You don't... Yeah, that's the new chess game. A lot more simple where you can actually defeat it. Where the other one, I still can't solo on my own. I don't know how people solo it. I'm Which sure. one? The uh, original The original Karazin? chess game. Yeah, the original chess game. Oh yeah. Um, you see, the thing is, uh, I can't. Okay, so I I'm not alone. Razzly. With Razzly's help, I could barely do it. Yeah, there's and a. You put a pet at the end too. I I've been able to do it. I I follow this. I follow a uh, a tutorial each time, and I'm able to do it when I follow the tutorial. I think your mistake was uh, letting me try and do any. Yep, absolutely. Uh, anytime. <laughs> yeah. So, just so we don't go into like five <laughs> five hours, I, I'm enjoying this. I was just, just like, whoa! It's already hard. been going for about two and a half hours. <laughs> yes. No, wait a minute. It started at um. Yeah, two and a half hours. Okay. Wow. And, I was like, and, wait a minute. We probably lost about maybe half an hour of that somewhere in all of our changing things around. Our technical difficulties in wibbly wobbly timey wimey. Yeah. Yeah, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. In in like tri trivial pursuit and stuff like that. No, I mean, I mean the non-recorded version because there was some stuff that happened. There, there there was things. Yeah. Let's not get into that. Hey, but just, I just I, moving on. I definitely want both feedback on because I think this <laughs> what has been seen cannot be unseen. So, um, Lane the Emma says I am very special Pokemon, 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 and uh, and yeah, we, and we definitely discussed Pokemon in the, in the beginning. Yeah, that that was the beginning part. I'll okay, put it there. Sounds good. But yeah, Pokemon's great, and, and we'll definitely have more Pokemon. But now it comes to the lore part of our episode. So, all right. Doom, doom, doom. We are going to discuss Argus before Legion expansion, and then after the outro, we'll discuss Legion after the expansion. All right. So, in a nutshell, basically, the reason that Argus is currently the way it is is it was originally the homeworld of the Draenei, or uh, the Eridar. And Sargeras saw the Eridar. Mm -hmm and decided that they would potent they could potentially make a powerful ally to his demon army. So he went there to enlist them by offering them unimaginable power. The three leaders of the Eridar, Kil'jaeden, Archimonde, and Velen, um, were, you know, kind of, they somewhat debated about what decision to make, but Kil'jaeden and Archimonde immediately were like, hey, yeah, let's go for this. Like, look at all this power he's offering us. But Velen, uh, Velen was smart. He realized there must be a catch to this offer. So he went to meditate while holding one of the Atamal crystals, and he saw a vision of him and his two friends. And their bodies looked completely different from how an Eridar should look, which is what the Draenei looked like. And they were red, black, fell pocked, Basically, they were what the Eridar that we see in Legion look like. Manari, which is just a, it's the uh, Eridun word for something that is not right, something that is just monstrous and evil and wrong. So Velen tried to warn his friends that this was a really bad idea, but they didn't listen to him. They're like, but, but the power, the, the power, man, the power. So, 
what ended up happening was Velen try Velen escaped. He barely escaped. Um, one of the Naru spoke to him through the Atomal Crystal, and fortunately, him and a handful of the smart Eridar managed to escape from Argus. But what ended up happening was Argus more or less ended up being a sacrifice to Sargeras, and it became the Burning Legion's basically HQ. And he, uh, all the fell corruption was just devastating to the planet, which is why, spoiler alert, it looks the way it does in uh, patch 7.3. So, sorry if you didn't look away or listen away too quickly. Um, but uh, I ignored you and pay attention to the cat. <laughs> oh, so I'm being ignored. I see how it is. Um, <laughs> but as a result of all of these events, that's why uh, Archimon and Kill Jaden basically turned into Stewie against Velen being Lois. You know, damn you, vile woman. <laughs> um, and all that fun stuff. So yeah, that is why Argus is how it is right now. The story of Argus. And all this happened like tens of thousands of years ago. Um, like, I think this happened even before the dragon aspects turned uh, into dragon aspects. It did, because um, Illidan Stormrage, the book one about Illidan, he actually managed to go there with his demon hunters before all this, before he gets captured. Um, and he describes that Argus is like basically destroyed, and there's demons everywhere. Yeah, it's the Demon's HQ. So it's not really a spoiler if you've read Illidan Storm Rage? I haven't read it yet, so... Well, then it's a spoiler for you. I don't really care, because I like to know all of this. Now or later, so... Well, I highly suggest you do read that book, because that gives you... I haven't, I'm just... Just waiting. That's great insight on Illidan. And how... You know, he's not as evil as we thought, hence why he's helping us now. Well, if you understood the original Illidan story even before the book came out, you would know he wasn't a bad guy. He was kind of... He wasn't really an anti-hero either. He was almost like a foil. He was he just He had good brother. intention. He had good intentions, but he was, he was trying to implement them at the wrong place at the wrong time with the wrong mindset of the people around him, and it didn't work out, and it ended up making him look bad and causing problems for people. And he was massively jealous of his brother because he wanted Taronda. Yeah. <laughs> and on he top of that, there. Um, he was also was told that he would be for great things because of his, the color of his eyes. So he already, from a young age, had this in his head that he's going to be epic and his brother's going to be basically nothing because he has the eyes the eyes that say that he's going to do great things and great his, things aren't always good things no and then his brother was get, doing all this awesome stuff and was getting really close to being a druid where he couldn't harness that type of power that was not his power and that made him very bitter because he was always told that, hey, you're going to be doing great. You're going to be better than anyone. You're going to get us places. And uh, no, no, his brother did it. Yeah. It was, uh, he, he ended up discovering later on, because I, I did read the War of the Ancients trilogy, so I, I know more of his of Illidan's story. I know that he ended up getting really good at arcane just... magic. So. Yes, he was. Um, yeah, I still have to finish 80 pages of that book. Um, Which the, book? Because there's... The third, the third one. I'm okay. on the third one, and I have like 80 pages. And I stopped reading it probably, well, three years ago. <clears throat> one. What? I, I, I like <laughs> the story. I just found the way the book was written... I had a difficulty holding my attention to it. I personally thought it was one of the more, but that that's just because 
my my style of everything basically is kind of off of what would be considered normal. So yeah, I'm not normal. Me neither. I'm proud of that. I'm a I'm abnormal. Um, I guess. Yeah, sure. Why not? It was a good book, like I said. Um, it also oh, yeah. didn't help the book that I was reading. The font was really super tiny. I had it on um, my iPad. You know that on the iPad you can increase the size of the font? Sure, if it was a legit copy. Uh, PDF? Yeah. Nice. I mean, not nice. Blizzard, um, please, please don't get mad at me for thinking. Idea, or for pretending that that was a good idea. <laughs> no, it's Ooh. a bad idea. And like I said, you strained your eyes because I had not a legit copy. I would have loved a legit copy. I thought also, I had a legit copy. What you could have done in theory on your computer, copy it into like a doc and then just highlight the whole thing and increase the f- Yeah, but that means I would have to put it on my computer. Too much effort? Totally. Fair enough. My computer's just perpetually on. But, yeah, so there's a little lore lesson on our game. So are we going to talk about patch 7.3 stuff now? Like, spoiler alert? Here, spoiler there's, alert? There's oh. a purple a horse that I want. Purple, black, unicorn. Oh. I want it. I wait, wait, wait. Okay, oh, hold on. We haven't ended the show yet. I thought we were going to put it in the show, so that way those who do want it listen. No, no. Here. We're doing it after the outro. Uh, okay, well, I don't okay. think what I said was spoiler alert. No, no, because... Uh, if anyone has Twitter, they already know about that. Yeah, and... I don't know, I want it so much. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. 7.3 P- PTR is on PTR. <laughs> that was redundant. So, Fascinating. Um, th- discussion at the end of the show after outro. Um, Diablo 3 Necromancer came out. I've not had a chance to play this. Have any of you had a chance to play this? Nope. Uh, I have not, but I will soon. I'm really looking forward to that. I own it on the PS4 and the the uh, Mac, so to speak. So I, I own it on both because that way, in case I want to play it on either. And uh, it, it looks PC good. PC Master. One of the funniest things that that I saw on on the Battle.net site, it said, "Warning: Those who be." T- Beware the necromancer. The, those who do not follow will be destroyed. Something like that. But I was thinking, is the chamber of secrets open? I mean, they reminded me of the chamber of secrets. Yeah, actually. Well, Let's be careful chamber so you don't get a copyright. I'm here. now thinking of Harry Potter. Yeah, because I mean, yeah. it was like, was, uh, um, um, enemies of the air, beware! The chamber of secrets has been opened. Dude, you actually sounded like Arthas for a second there when you said open. <laughs> I probably can't. That. Um, Frost morn hunger. This sounds more like that cave of wonders. The cave of wonders. Okay, we're getting a little off topic. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do a lot of that's, that. that's this entire podcast in a nutshell. Three people getting really off topic. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And. And any week, people can join it if they want. <laughs> we'll take anybody. So now, that means I'll please, just keep sneaking in every week. Absolutely. And so far, it's working pretty well. <laughs> so I know, I'm enjoying the Frazzlecast. I, I hope you guys are enjoying it so far, too. <laughs> I am, too. I have the blue screen of death again. Well, not the blue screen of death. It's just my cat. Name okay. Is. But I still see you on recording, so... There we go. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just my screen. It's blue. <laughs> okay, good. Um, Nihar uh, sent another email. He says, what's the best race in WoW? And why is it Pandola? Panda, but he misspelled. He must have been cooking again. But he said, what's the best race in WoW? And why is it Panda? What's the uh... best race in WoW? <laughs> Was that Nihar? Nihar, yeah, that was Nihar. I'm going to say Nihar just, just to kind of be a troll. Bill Nihar, the Sorry. science guy. Bill Nihar, the science guy. Hard. 
R, R, R. Uh, R. Bad. <laughs> I, I don't think it is panda. I think, well, actually, in my opinion, race, it all depends on your preference. No. Because for me, I really like my humans, and I really like blood elves. And I like Draenei. Oh, yeah, the Draenei are awesome. But so it's like it all really depends on your feel. I like I even have three gnomes as well. I I went through it. I would agree with that because I I went through a stage where I was gnome everything. I mean I think you all remember that stage. I thought you were still yeah. at that stage. Oh no, uh, a lot of things. He, he just is that stage. A lot of things like, happened. What he is. Things happened on in May and all that that kind of changed me oh. into yeah. The, right, that stuff. The incident. We'll we'll just say that. But uh, I, I must have missed that. I'm sorry. Oh no. Uh, I'll, if you if you want, I'll like send you some of that. Like I'll I'll try and DM you some screenshots of it on Twitter. Yeah. If, if you <laughs> want to know what it is, I but, think I yeah. followed you. I I'm still, deceiver, just so you know. I still like gnomes, but now I've got a human. Actually, one or two humans. I've got a, a worgen, and I've got a night elf. So I I don't have a Draenei. I don't, I don't know why. But I don't have one. Oh, and I, I brought my my uh, panda over. So yeah, I, it would definitely be personal preference. I mean, I still say I, I like gnomes a lot, just because again I'm six foot six in real life, so it's nice having a little a thing that I, that's smaller than me. See, for me, um, how I created my character is, hmm, which one's most most like me? Oh, a human. And also, don't forget, I was playing this in um, classic, so it didn't have all those extra races. So you're a vanilla player. I, I am a vanilla player, and I love my vanilla Coke, FYI. Oh, hey, um, I know of a good private server you might Oh, <laughs> servers. Uh, so, and then when I was trying to find uh, classes, I almost went mage, but there's two things that made me go to warlock. One, I got a demon. Second, my dot was purple. Warlocks are purple. Interesting. Yeah, I actually knew that the works were purple. That's not why I picked my class, though. I, uh, I kind of went with what seemed like the best for a class fantasy, personally. And I did kind of go with what I thought sort of resembled me, but in a different kind of sense. I, I was 12 at the time, so I was kind of arrogant. Oh, I'm um, so young. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 17. So close. So close. Aww. Almost hey. 17, going on however the song goes. Going on 17. I'm almost 17, going on 17. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, wow. I tell my nephew I'm four. I'm six. He's, he's finally kind of got wise that I'm not four because he's five now. And he's like, <laughs> no, you can't be four. I'm five. You're not four. Mommy, Aww. is Auntie older than you? Oh, <laughs> I'm 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 the youngest, so I'm like, no, I'm four. Just leave it at that. Yeah, absolutely. Unless I can drink, then I'm 19 because I live in Canada, and the drinking age is 19. So it's 18. No, um, drinking age is 19. Good, you I good. know some people who were uh, shit. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> um, trust me. Drinking age legally is 19 doesn't mean you're going to start drinking at 19, but all those people who are under 21, you shouldn't be drinking until you're at least 25. Absol- <laughs> Absolutely. And when we talk about drinking, you're talking about drinking apple juice and soda. And water. And all the things that are good water for you. you should be drinking now. So yeah. apple juice and soda, That's you should wait until you're 25. True. Unless it's diluted. If it's diluted, then you can drink that. That stuff now. A little bit of apple juice, There's, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Frasley. Yes. So, quick question. <laughs> yes. Um, is uh, Silverbolt going to be one of the guests on Frazzlecast? Yeah, at, at, some, at some point. All right. I'm just adding people who don't already have a role who to be guests just to that category, especially if they're going to be like frequents. It sounds good, and, and, and then if the, if they listen to the show, but they're not, I guess we'll just mute mute, mute them for the for the time. Like I I can uh, I can do this. Yay! We're just muted. <laughs> so we can talk about Pokemon all over again. Right? Absolutely, I love Pokemon, and in fact, I 
I'm, I'm, I'm almost 27 in Pokemon, so I'm like, yay! There's a level 30 shirt that I want. Well, that's Pokemon Go. Like I said, I'm only level 12 on Pokemon Go. But now, if you're talking about uh, the classics, blue, red, and yellow, I have all of them, including Mew. Um, and Mew was done properly. <laughs> Is there anyone else who's going to be a uh, Frazzlecast guest? Um, that doesn't already have a role. I don't think so yet. Hey, I'm purple. I'm happy. Oh, nice. I, I, I like yeah, that. Yeah, I recalled you mentioning that you seemed to pick Warlock because purple. Uh, or unless I misheard. But... Nope, nope. Purple. It, actually, I have a funny story about how purple became my favorite color. That sounds good. I have a lot of funny stories. Okay. <laughs> All right. Originally, my favorite color was red, like a nice ruby red, like a, a, a cool wet red. Not the warm red, the cool red. Um, But my mom wouldn't let me paint my room red. She also wouldn't let me paint Fine. it black. So the darkest color I could get my room was kind of like a a lighter plum purple. And I painted my room purple because it was the darkest color I could get. allow my mom to let me. And everyone soon, because I painted my room purple, that means purple was my favorite color. Ah. Uh. And then it grew on me, and then, yeah, I just kept on getting purple stuff, and now I love purple. So it's kind of a thing of, like, nurture and stuff like that? Yeah, I couldn't avoid it. It's telling me I must love it. And it's weird, like, blue's not my favorite color. <laughs> what is? Red. Blue actually is my favorite color, so I'm pretty happy with having blue as level 58 Death Knight. Well, but you're but you're a hordy. So, red is actually like my least favorite, one of my least favorite colors. So if he's and a horde, ironic. we'll just switch him over to the right side. It sounds good. My main is still an Alliance Paladin. It's a Draenei. Okay, good. As, as long as your main's a Alliance, because I actually made my my Orc Mage horde or. Er, or I made my orc mage into a human because I, I wasn't yeah, playing him. You told me. I I am very disappointed in you. Hey, you're, I, you I are... have some hordes. I do have hordes. I, you're better than Frasley. Yeah, I have got very few hordes now. It's not a max level. I have a level one hundred uh, warlock blood elf, and I have a couple. Do I have a ninety? No, I have an eighty something DK blood elf. And Do you only pick Blood Elves if you're on the Horde? No, no, no. I have um, also a Torrin Shaman. Um, I have an Undead Warrior, but he's only level one. He doesn't count. Yeah. I have created him to play with him with a recruiter friend. I'm just trying to find a new victim. <laughs> victim? <laughs> Come yeah. to the horde. I have about... All of a sudden, I'm afraid to play WoW with you. Like, <laughs> yeah. I have four Christ. accounts that have not been activated at all. They're brand new accounts. I have the keys. And I'm trying to find my victims to play with me. So I can get the recruit a friend, mount, or pet. So if anyone's listening, Lady Emma is looking for a victim. Yes. You also have Can to make remember a my main... joke about that? You also have to remember, my main is a warlock, so we have victims. I, I, I say they get a chief. Um, c considering she's saying victim, can I just make a quagmire joke real quick? Is it, uh, is it pr appropriate? There's no dirty words. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Anyway... Oh yeah, one of the other things that. Um, I'm sorry, I had to. Any opportunity to make a joke with a voice, I'm all for it. So I'm uh, just waiting for an excuse to use Richard Nixon. I wanted to announce on this podcast that my other favorite race, but I don't have any of them. I've got very few. Is Tauren. I just I I think Tauren is a cool race. I try to get my race and my classes also somewhat. Lore-wise, hence Torin Druid. 
You said and shaman. No, shaman was orc. I thought it was... I'm losing track of everything. How do I keep track of WoW when I can't keep track of something I just heard? I might have. We'll we'll find out. Someone's gonna say, "Hey, no, she said this." Uh, but yeah, you, no, my Torrin is a druid, and so is my worgen. Because for lore purposes, worgens were druids. That is that true. Messed up. That they yeah, completely it, so, messed up. Te uh, te technically, all worgen by default. No, actually, they're not druid because they weren't dru they weren't druids. They were created with the scythe of a loon. You don't need to be a druid to be created with the scythe of a loon because yes, it also turned it, into an infectious plague. But like a it was the druids who made that who uh, were first turned into worgens. True, but the worgens of Gilneas are not dru are traditionally not druids. But who said I couldn't be a druid from way back in the day? Technically, really that would be a night elf, but I, I'm not going to argue against anything with worgens because worgens are just really cool. They are, but I have to say I don't like the female worgens look. They really need to fix it. It is kind of strange. They put all this work and effort into the guy one, and then they're like, oh, we're running out of time. Okay, let's put a chihuahua's face on the female body. <laughs> now, hold on a second. Don't you dare insult a chihuahua. My dog is a chihuahua. Well, he's a mix, so he doesn't have the bulgy eyes but or the shaking, but he's still a chihuahua. You got a punting dog. Oh. I oh, would never, all right, I'll just clarify, I will never, ever hurt an animal on purpose. Ever. On purpose. On purpose. That would imply that you're willing to quote unquote accidentally. No accidents happen. I have will admit that I have probably stepped on my cats a few times, got their tails stuck in a door. I almost sat on my cat all one by day. Accidents. <laughs> they, they, they're all by accidents. They're accidents yes. I think I was with you when you did that, Presley. I think yeah. I was on voice chat. You sat down. Okay. Whoops. Hold on. <laughs> my my, my oh. cat did my shit. I'm sorry. And my cat like I bolted. Did Dylan did the same thing one time when uh, we were on voice chat. You you had like just left, and he comes back, and he sits down, and he's like, "Okay, I just sat on my cat." <laughs> I am really glad that I don't have that problem because. Well, if Jinx is sitting in my chair, I might forget about seeing him, but 90% of the time they don't sit on my chair. They sit on my desk. Okay. And then they can rub their face in my face. Well, because, like, my cat likes my chair because if, if I'm sitting in it, he likes, he likes that it's warm and all that. <laughs> that makes sense. It makes sense. I could make oh. a quagmire joke about that, too, just because of the fact that... Not even like a, a sexual joke, just because Quagmire, ha he, he has a cat. He's a cat person. Does he have a cat? I yeah, he was a cat person. Cat. There was an episode where he, uh, he had a cat, and he entrusted Peter, Joe, and Qua and uh, Cleveland to take care of it. Let's just say it didn't turn out too well. I can imagine. Man, I've learned Here, a Here's my joke about that that'll tell you exactly what happened. There's more uh. than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. So, uh, here's a random weird thing I've noticed. And a lot of TV show pilots, like the very first episode, they usually have a cat in, like if it's at like one of the sitcoms of a house type thing, they usually have a house. By usually the third or fourth episode, the cat disappears. Interesting. Hmm. That, and they that, usually in the beginning they'll mention the cat somehow in the episode very subtly sometimes sometimes very in your face but usually by the third or fourth episode the cat just disappears interesting so now, so, so, so now we call it the TV show cat conspiracy it's telling everyone you must love cats you must love cats alright we got you hooked with the cats now we're going to go on with the show yeah and, and cats the cat belong in the deepest places of hell. Um, I'm going to get a lot house? of hate for saying that. My house? They can come to my house. Yeah. So everyone... I wasn't aware your house was one of the deepest places of hell, but okay. Email well, the... My, my best friend calls my mom Satan. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, uh, 
<laughs> okay. I'll leave private, and I'll leave that between you and them. No, um... I feel like that could turn into a really awkward conversation that I don't want to be part of. I... <laughs> Yeah, it, what Frasley said. Uh, uh, no, no, I was going to say that <laughs> my nephew said that one of his friends says, one of his friends believes they are, say, that, that their, name, their name is Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> and the kid's not kidding, apparently. <laughs> well, there's there was someone in my PE class named Lucius. So every time I heard his name, I'm like, shit, where? Oh, uh, uh, you're gonna have to bleep that, Frasley. Sorry, but I, 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 I kept thinking, thinking he of, said Lucifer. I kept on when you said that. I was thinking of Harry Potter. Yeah, me too. I was thinking Malfoy. Oh uh, yeah, because Lucius Malfoy. But it all—it still sounds like Lucifer. K- kinda. It's—it's uh, it's meant to. It's supposed to, because you know that dude is bad news. Lucius uh, Lucifer. It, it, it's a different val- sound. I remember the phase when I was. Like, my friends were having kids right out of high school, and a lot of them were naming their kids Damien. Interesting. Why? Exactly. Evilness type thing. I don't know. So they were naming their kid based on evil? Pretty much, yeah. Um, People are strange. Th- yeah, they're Parenting strange. Goal. Parenting goal. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, at you're... least we don't have kids. Well, actually, at least we're not like celebrities who are naming their kids like Apple. That is true. I've seen some. I've, I once uh, saw a video where it was just kind of listing weird names people give their kids. One of them, obviously, Kanye West's kid, Northwest. <laughs> like, sorry, that's that. That's yeah. just kind of wrong. Yeah, I, As if they weren't already going to get mocked enough for the fact that their dad is the guy who never smiles, or and when he does get caught smiling, he just switches back to a frown. Now they're going to get mocked for that when they're in high school. Hey, Northwest, can you tell me which way north is? <laughs> it's going to be something dumb. Oh, I, I saw you. I saw your twin, Southwest. Sorry, Northwest, if you're listening, I did not. I'm not trying to make fun of you, Northwest. We, we feel for you. Yeah, I'm yes, making we, fun we of do. Kanye, not not Northwest. I and Kanye, that. if you're listening, I'm, we're not making fun of you. We feel for you. Yeah, well, we really do. Like, um, all right, my sister has a very unusual name. Actually, we are starting to see it more often now. But it's an unusual name, and she hated it growing up because it was different. But now she thrives on it because it's so unique. Um, uh, FYI, her name is uh, Nairi. That, that is an unusual name. Yeah, it's unusual, but it's not a bad name. No, no it's not at least it's name. not like at least it's not like one of the parents who named their kids hashtag. Oh, you're oh. What about rainbow? Even that's not as bad as hashtag, but it's kind of like I, I guess someone could shorten it to rain and you know get it so that way they wouldn't need they wouldn't hear too much. I guess, but yeah, the problem is at least where I go to high school, people are vicious. I could we'll see, find anything. I could see, like, on that one, are you going to... Oh, are we, still, are we still live? Yeah, are we still yeah. Live? <laughs> we're still live. Okay, because I, I would have said something, but I'm not going to say it, because we're live right now. So. Probably good. <laughs> and, um, uh, you go ahead. Yeah, no, my, my high school, way back in the day, was very, very vicious. Um, you did not mess with the females at all. Like, I skipped gym, not because I was out of shape or I didn't like it, because of the bullies. Because there was two class uh, groups. There was the jocks, and then there was the bullies. If you were tough against the bullies, they will beat you up after school. And if you were tough against the jocks, they will, like, shoulder check you right into a wall. You just, just avoid it. So there was the bullies and the bullies, basically. No, no, because the jocks will keep it in the game. But they'll be really vicious. The bullies will do it after school, and they will be a little bit more tough. And they and they won't and they won't ever lose a grudge. So no, they you, no, they don't. You never know when when you could get attacked. Kind of like mean School girls. Mean. Yeah. If I'm gonna be completely honest, like at least in high school, I think that. There's more viciousness 
between the girls than there is than there is between the guys, just because of the fact that it it seems like gossip is a bigger problem. Like not not to be labeling or anything. At least at my school, this there seems I always hear more stories from my friends who are like I hear more stories about rumor spreading and cattiness and trying to ruin each other's lives because of one stupid Instagram post. I hear none of that from the guys. It's like I am in really high happy. School, when I was going to school, I think, uh, I can't even think of the website, because Facebook wasn't even a thing. It was like at the end of my high school years when we had Facebook. But before that, there wasn't much internet social. So I didn't have the social, uh, like, yeah, um, media bullying. Oh, no. They don't even bother with social media bullying. They'll just directly start spreading rumors like someone's ear oh did you hear so and so what like one thing that happens a lot is did you hear so and so slept with so and so or did you hear um did you hear that so and so did such and such a drug Ugh. or so and so said this in class and it was so stupid and we all laughed at him yeah that sort of thing too that's less common though because that's that's too that's too direct that that's too direct and too easy for people to ignore. Uh no, we had the direct ones a lot. Which I'd rather be dealing with that. I mean, no one bothers to mess with me because, I mean, I'm not particularly in shape, but I don't look fat either. I just look large, and I'm not six foot six, Frasley. <laughs> uh, but I tower over most of the people. There's a surprisingly large number of midgets at my. <laughs> I could punt most of the jerks. Okay, that reminds me of another story. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> yeah, story time. All right. So, is the end of every podcast just going to be story time? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Sounds good to me. I'm down for that. Me okay, too. so I was in gym class talking to my best friend, and we're about the same height. And I'm just staring at her and talking to her. And it's like I feel really, really short. And then all of a sudden, I hear like that, <clears throat> and I look around behind me, and there was the three shortest people in my class <laughs> just staring at me, and I felt horrible. And I mean, they, they were probably just under my chest line, short. Wow. So I'm towering over them. I felt horrible. <laughs> oh. I used to be the shortest kid, so I know the feeling. Me too. Which is actually part of why I'm... It's one of the few times where I'll kind of be an ass is about height, but I'm not doing it in a way to be an ass. It's more just kind of like a joking thing. And like my friends get that I'm not trying to be vindictive, venomous or anything like I, 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 uh I've probably gotten on a few people, completely honest, the uh, short jokes. You're just vertically challenged, and you just need a little help. There's nothing wrong with that. That's the only one I don't use, because <laughs> that's the one that actually re that's the one that really offends people when you say that. If you sound like you mean it, that's the only one that actually offends them, because it's See, like, really, you're gonna go there? That that one I don't see as being mean. It's just like, okay, you're vertically challenged, meaning you can't reach as high. Oh well. There, there's things a way around that. Well, because at my school, vertically challenged is used to refer to people in a very joking and derogatory term, uh, um, fashion. Yeah, my school's got some unique strangeness to it. So kids, drop out of school. I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. What? Yeah, sounds good oh, to me. Then I don't have to deal with stupid people. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> uh, I, I missed two-thirds of grade nine. Um, I got bullied really badly, so I refused to go to school. My mom couldn't get me to school, the principal, no one could get me to be at school. I actually would skip school to go to other people's schools because the bullying was so bad in my school. <laughs> so, so you still two... got your lessons just at different schools? Yeah, pretty much, but it doesn't count because they're at different schools. It's still cool, though. I know. Yeah. Um, so at my school, I missed two thirds. And the way that they got me to come back to school was I got to drop a whole bunch of courses that I didn't like. 
and got to take courses that I actually wanted to be interested in, but didn't have the time to slot them in because I had the courses that I didn't like, like, you know, science and social. So I didn't take science and social. Instead, I took other courses. That was a lot of fun. Nice. But I graduated with A's and B's. So. Which could get into, I mean, a topic for Nike for is like, what if schools were to do hot topics people actually enjoyed? Yeah, it, it actually it improves. It's the same thing when people go to universities and college and they're taking stuff that they actually want to take. They actually get a way better grade than the people that are taking courses that they have to take because of criteria. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> like I'm in a course right now that I'm actually – really enjoying it and, and and i can tell the course that i enjoy because those courses it doesn't i don't have to work to to do that but the other ones are like the slug oh how many hours have i studied this week oh not not, not that many like it doesn't feel like work when you're taking courses that you actually enjoy i um study period that reminds me of a of a, a thing a, a tip that i learned when you're doing something that you enjoy and it's giving you pl- like pleasure, like an enjoyment, the part of the brain that measures time gets less blood, and the other part that uh, so that way that way your brain can enjoy what you're doing more. So when you, so when you lose track of time, it's because you're doing something that you enjoy, and you're not and your brain's not consciously thinking what time is it. Whereas when you don't enjoy it, your brain's like, oh, okay, it's a minute, a minute, a minute. Yeah, when you're, I think part of it also is just the fact that when you're thinking about the time, it's it it slows down because that you're you're focusing every little thing into counting each individual second. Yes. But as for stuff with like school, you mentioned studying. Um, is it bad that I just don't study? No. As long as you know um, the material. Yeah. I'm always getting eight. What What's weird is I get. I frequently will get hundred percent on my. T- but I, I never pass my classes with an A. Never. Well, you're retaining information, and that is the main key. Um, Tess also proves that you're good more under pressure because there are always time limit that you have to finish a test, so you're good better at being under pressure, where someone else, as soon as they have a test and they start freaking out, they're going to fail. I treat it like a challenge, like I'm going to be faster than everyone else. I'm going to be the fastest. So as, as long as I keep that positive attitude, I don't think too much. I've never known you also, to be competitive. Hmm? I've never known you to be competitive, ever. Oh, yeah, no, never. Not never. once, ever. No. Um, like, totally not in the lore competition earlier. No, never. No. Um, <laughs> but, and, and ever during our, our leveling streams, and you're like, hey, I got the, I, I got faster, or, oh, you got, you got a level up ahead of me? Yeah, I, I'm just a competitive person. It's... It's good and bad because I've I've sometimes gotten on some people's nerves just because they don't like to be competitive, and I I get that because I used to no. not like being competitive. But the only reason I continue to be competitive is just it gives me the little bit of extra drive to keep trying. Okay, so you and me need to play World of Warcraft together and do stuff together because I'm also slightly competitive, but I like to be competitive with people. And I have to agree with that. Okay, aside from the kind of dumb voice I did just did there, yeah, I, I thoroughly agree. Perhaps um, maybe even like a leveling race, see who can who can figure out the fastest path to level up with. Um, there's an add-on that helps with the Legion stuff for for leveling. But then again, Iron Man challenge style. How's about that? So you're not allowed to use any of that Iron Man challenge. Who can get? Who can get the far A? Who can get the farthest in the least time? And B, also, who can get the farthest before they get killed? Okay, what race do you know the least of the starting zone for? Um, no. No, I've done the no, Max. Okay. I have done all of the starting zones at least once or twice. Because I would say we would have to do. The least one. The worst one for starting zones, I hate to say this, it was fun the first time around, but now I can't do it again because I've done it three or four times. 
is the goblin starting zone. I was yeah. actually going to say we should do that one because it's the most time consuming starting zone. It is, but then you. If so you that would about, be the biggest challenge. Yeah, but Pandaria one is more fun. I mean, who's, we don't necessarily have to be picking the same race and class because it's either way, we're in theory, we'll be leveling up at the same rate because we're going to be using white gear. Okay, good. Because I was about to ask now, Air Limbs and Air Limbs. Yeah, well, it's Iron Man Challenge. Well, there's oh, tons true. of different Iron Man Challenge. There's one, if you die, then you can't play that character. Um, if yeah, you, there's that one, one that the you traditional can't... Iron Man. Okay, because I know the tons. There's another one that you, you Well, there's the Iron Man Challenge. There's the Iron Man Challenge, the Pacifist Challenge, the Bloodthirsty Challenge. Um, but the Iron Man Challenge is the only one that's actually called the Iron Man Challenge. Just the other ones are also on MMO Champion, I think. Yeah, no, WoW Challenges. They're all on the same website, but there's different names for them. Like the Bloodthirsty one, you cannot do... Like, you're not supposed to do quests unless you absolutely have to to get out of the starting zone. And you can only do things by killing, and you have to level up just by killing stuff. The Pacifist one, where you're... I think you're only allowed to kill stuff if it's directly for a quest. Um... But you can't kill extra stuff. Uh, and then the Iron Man challenge where it's white gear, no potions, um, no heirlooms, no anything good. If you die, you're done. Which is also why it would be a competition of who can make it the farthest before they die. Okay, so Iron Man challenge. Do not die. No gear higher than white. No talents allowed, no primary professions allowed, no potions or flask. Your killing blow slash total percent must be 75% or higher. The reason for that is to uh, stop people from doing Because if you're in dungeons, you would have a much lower rate of killing blows. Yeah. Uh, cannot join a party, raid, or group of in intel of getting help further. Uh, no vanilla, Burning Crusade, Cataclysm Dungeons, or Raid. So you can't complete any of those. Uh, no Wrath, Pandaria, Warlords, Dungeon, either. Or Battleground, or Arenas. Joining a guild is okay, but you cannot use guild repair or the guild bank to assist your character in any way. They actually can't monitor that one. That one's just more of an honor system. Sort yeah. Of thing. Um. Uh. No. Uh. No leveling by battle pets. You cannot boost your character. No food buffs or extreme uh, buffs. Uh. Uh. I. Yeah. They used to let you use buffs that you got just from being the character, but they. Yeah. Don't. They said there's no uh, buffs anymore. Yeah. They said kings. If you're a paladin, are okay. Yeah, so basically paladins get a slight advantage with that. Yeah. No recruit a friend. Mm hmm Oh, all mounts are allowed. They That's are. A... Yes. But the heirloom mount, as I recall, it's allowed, but it's discouraged. It, well, this one says all mounts including heirloom, water walking, and repairs, and account-wide abilities, toys, are allowed. Okay, then they updated it since when I originally yeah. tried to do the Iron Man challenge. Um, um, Draenei specific rules, flying in Draenor is allowed. Uh, all fallen mission, uh, missions are allowed, even the XP ones. Mining and herbs in the garrison is allowed. Um, use your own risk. Building You let go of your button. Or your mic died or something. Or maybe my headphones aren't working. No. Uh, I uh I don't I don't hear no, you. I hear you. I hear you. Okay, so and I see that it looks like she's not even talking. Hello? Yeah. Hello? Are you there? Emma? I think Emma left. She got sick of us. She left. She, she just got sick of us, I guess. Okay, good. 
Oh. <laughs> she got um, sick of us. Good. Turn on voice activity under settings. Um. So. Let me try something. Maybe that'll work. I was just wondering if maybe moving it would work. Sometimes just little things make a huge difference. Holy crap! We are used to. Are we still live? Yep, we're still live. Three and a half hours. Hey, I. Um, I'm trying to see. Um, All I have to say is woof. Yes. And yeah, Emma. Emma just left. She got, she got sick of us. Yeah. Well, yeah. if you can hear me, I see how it is. I, I no, I see how it is. I see how it is. I see how it is. Can you I hear see. me yet? Yep. Can you hear? You can hear me. Oh yeah, fine. now. Yeah. I, I I unplugged my mount, uh, mic and then replugged it in. <laughs> okay, so uh, there is also drain Norse uh, specific rules. Yeah. Um, I got down to. Functions. I think, did you hear about the buildings? All except, except for the barracks, two are higher. And no bodyguards. No bodyguards. I, I don't really use the garrison anyways. So you're not allowed to have buildings at all? You, you can have buildings. All except for barracks level two. Oh, that's probably so that way you don't get the body. Um, I think because you get bonuses as well. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, um, shipyards allowed and garrison outpost uh, zone wide perks are all allowed. Oh, except Aspire the Rack a Brewery is not allowed due to the passive XP bonus. Okay. And then Legion rules, Legion's flying's allowed, uh, Legion intro skipping's allowed, using champion or bodyguards not allowed. And using class hall order upgrades not allowed. I'm trying to think strategically based on what would be the one that has the most of an, the most advantage. Because let's not like limit it based on oh we have to be playing same race same class. Like you know pick your own combination see what you can make be the fastest because it's basically you know m more or less my brain versus your brain in this competition. Yeah, but um, then if I was going to do that, then I would probably play one of the characters that I have a level one that I haven't even logged in for. That's already created. And that would be my Horde side, because my Alliance side's all done. Well, one thing we should agree on, at least, is faction. Horde. Totally. Horde is the best. Horde is no, love. No, I Horde just don't have a lot of Horde. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, also, Horde is the best. And we want updates. Oh, okay. So, um, but like I said, we have to wait until the fall. Can you wait that long? Yep. Yeah, it gives me plenty of time to practice. And then we can, uh, <laughs> and, 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 then, and then we can do some smack talk on further episodes. Like like ne next week, we can yeah. do. Yeah, I'll, I'll start right now, real quick, just to kind of practice, <laughs> just like I'm going to practice and the still, Iron Man challenge. But I'm going to kick your ass. Noticed, You're going it doesn't down. Have anything to do with add-ons? With add-ons. Uh, yeah. I think you're allowed to use that. I, um, let's go no add-ons and just make it as vanilla as possible. Because the okay. point of the Iron Man challenge is to be like vanilla, where it's difficult. So And so we're all allowed to no wear white, white armor, right? Yep. And we have to register. Once we get to level 10, we got to register our characters on uh, MMO Champion. Or no, oh. uh, WoW, or WoW challenges. So that way, neither of us can cheat and we can both monitor each other to make sure <laughs> that we're not flagged. And we are it going checks to make sure you didn't get flagged. And we want you to tag uh, at Frazzlecast whenever you post an update on Twitter, so that way we can retweet and people can follow what goes on with the Iron Man challenge. Yeah, sure. Sounds hey, maybe I can even record my end for uh, YouTube. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I mean, I need more content anyways, because aside from our leveling series, I, I'm like out of ideas because everything I can think of has been done by someone else. And I'm having difficulty think of it, thinking of a unique flair for it, so that way I'm not copying it. Well, okay, and, so I think this another, is... A... Another thing. Now, time frame. Because I do work, and I can't really skip work. I have school. 
I yeah. definitely can't skip school. <laughs> I can skip homework, but I can't skip I can't skip the school part. Um, Except for me, I'm even taking true. a summer school class right now, so I, I'm still limited. I didn't fail anything. Let me just be clear about that. I did not fail any classes during the okay. school year. I'm taking too many other science classes, so I have to take biology during the summer. <laughs> because I know this is a speed run. Should we kind of time ourselves when we? Oh, actually, you could go slash play for how long you've played that character to get the best accurate. Because, like I said, we're going to be impacted differently on different days. Yeah. So if we do that, the slash pl uh, slash play, then you'll be able to see how yeah. long who who's been playing their character the longest, what what mm -hmm. level you are based on how much time. But I think the most important factor is not even time so much like time is more like just a fun little addition to it but the most important part um it's not time is who can get to the highest level before they die hmm now if a person's not in your party and they help you kill something would that help work Hold on. Um, say that again? Well, I'm thinking if you had another player as a, bar a bodyguard, not grouped up with them, they just make sure you don't die. Cheating. That's cheating? Yeah, because if they, besides, if they end up getting all of the killing blows. Okay, what happened if they healed you? Um, but they're not in a party with you. If they healed you, but they're not in a party. That's kind of cheap. It's got to be individual. It's got to be a challenge. That's I the whole know. point I, of a challenge. I, I, like if it takes, you have to take such things into consideration when you pick your race class combo. I'm just poking holes in it. That's that's all I'm doing. So we're not allowed to do any dungeons. So this is all just world quests. Just just regular questing and killing. Like if you yeah. really want to, you can even skip the quest and just kill everything. If you really want to. The, the, I wouldn't, because yeah. that'll just take forever. That Because that's it also would. a different challenge. Um, now, I remember the panda that never left the island. Double Is agent. he still on the island? Yeah, he just reached 110. I mean, a few months ago, but he reached 110. Yeah, because I believe what he was doing was picking up all the profession, uh, two professions, the mining and herbalism, and then dropping them when he couldn't get them anymore. And then kept, sold all the stuff, so he has... Decent amount of money. Hmm. Yeah, he. I am very impressed with what he did. Yeah, um, and and he even got a uh, a NPC on the uh, monk class all. Really? Yeah. Th there's a, uh, a a um, panda that you can see going to different mining and herb, herb nodes. Um, it's not called double agent because apparently Blizzard got into something where they couldn't, they can no longer put names of people on. Uh, there's there's something that, that they had to, that they had to change legally, but they uh, they have a character and he's named some. I, I think like the Venerable Shaman. I think. I mean, it, there's a it it's it's the guy's uh, armor of the. If you look at double agent, look at this NBC, exact same armor. Mm. Sucks that they couldn't actually call him double agent. Yeah, there was something I had heard on another podcast about why they couldn't. I mean, it again when you're in Blizzard size, things come up. Could, could you can you imagine their their legal team? Um. Uh. Let me think. I'm just trying to think. Are there any other things that I need to specify? Since you're looking for potential cheats. Um, I mean, you know I'm going to be playing fully honestly because I'm going to be recording it and uploading it to YouTube. And I, I, I will be doing it honestly. It's just, I like poking holes. It's like, huh, what if you do this? You got to take such things into consideration, you know? Yep. Like, one thing that I recommend doing, I will give you this piece of advice. Look at wowchallenges.com. Look at, uh, and look at uh, which quests or which classes have in the past managed to successfully complete the Iron Man challenge. Oh, and that that includes I guess, um, uh, as far back uh, as in case Iron. wouldn't be allowed either. I think you can, but there's special rules for them. I'm not sure how it works. But oh, it's got like its own special set of rules, and that's kind of cheating because you're skipping yeah. 55 levels. Exactly. So even so if there's special rules for it, I'd still call 
I'd still call out that one and say yeah. that it's same no. thing with Demon Hunters. I still haven't played a Demon Hunter yet. And if you have Demon any... Hunters are just straight up not allowed because like they yeah. immediately just start getting blue gear. So it's like yeah, no. Well, and if, if and uh, I suggest the Wild Challengers podcast because that, that that one would be a good one to start listening to before um, September. That way you can hear how people have been doing things. Hear ideas, and if you ever have questions, definitely ask uh, Wild Challenges on Twitter. I have actually tried the Iron Man challenge before. I didn't get very far because I, 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 I don't know why, but I just kind of lost my motivation to do it at the time. I think because I was well, doing it alone. Um, one of that's a uh, hundred and ten right now. Oh no, it's a hundred. I'm, I'm looking at the levels. Um, but for the Iron Man challenge, I got it up to somewhere in the twenties, but. It was really easy. I never even got any. It's you just kind of have to be careful, I guess. It it's not too difficult. What? Oh, watch Lazy Peon. He did was it two or three attempts at the Iron Man challenge, and you can watch what he did wrong to see the mistakes he made, so you don't make the same mistakes. I, I'm just going in blind. Oh, you're gonna go in blind? I'm going in completely blind. And I'm even practicing. Wow. Yep. You're making me feel guilty. <laughs> Not guilty enough, though. I'm still going to practice. <laughs> that, that's fine. I can still go in blind. Hey, and this will encourage me to level all my horde, or a horde up. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I'm probably going to go with either a goblin or a troll. Well, I already have my warrior set up. I'm already going to say this. Don't do a I'm going to say don't do a warrior or a sh uh, maybe shaman, I'm, but I'm going to say don't do a warrior. Trust Why? me. When I looked at a, a WoW, champ or WoW challenges, mm -hmm. I don't think I ever saw a single warrior even make it close. Like, the closest I saw a warrior getting to finishing it back in Warlords was mm -hmm. maybe in the 80s. But I never saw any warriors actually complete it. Yeah, I'm looking and I don't... I've seen warriors at 100 and 96. Let me think. Uh, if you're going to do a warrior, um, make it a troll. Because they just they just kind of have a generic healing in the background automatically so you would need that but I already have one created and what is it what race is it I think it's undead I have well, that one you do have cannibalism so you can kind of yeah. use that as a bit of a heal alright let's see let me log in because I can at least see what I have made I feel like what's going to happen is one of us is going to get overconfident with the easiness early on and then just pull a pack of too many mobs. <laughs> and then it's going to be over before even level 20. Oh, that would be funny. I am going to be right back. If you will excuse me. Hey, someone wants to be my friend on Balanet. Nice. I don't know who this person is. I don't even know how they found me. And apparently World of Warcraft is updating because Balnet hasn't been open forever. <laughs> nice. I've, uh, well, and, and it could be the Facebook stuff. Have you connected this to Facebook? I don't have it connected to Facebook because I hate Facebook. Well, and that's why we're good because because I find a lot of people on Facebook who I don't even who I who, who I, I abs get... absolutely hate Facebook, so that will not be on there. Oh, and and World of Warcraft is always starting updates, so it, it like I open it up and it's like, oh, okay, updating, okay, done, updating, okay, done. Oh, but someone did message me. Nice. And uh, have you have you done the Pokemon Go raid yet? No, I haven't. Remember, I'm only level 12. I think oh. it's level 20 when you can do it. Okay, yeah. I, I haven't done one yet just because whenever it's happened, I, it's either been too late for me to do it or or other stuff. I 
We posted that we were still live on Twitter. (laughs) (laughs) I return. Yay! So, um... That's a first. Usually I hear, oh, (laughs) Well, right now I like you, because you've challenged me. And this is going to be fun to watch. I'm looking forward to it. (laughs) Of course, I'm not going to be in the the challenge, but I'm going to be watching. No, but I'll probably have, like, because I'm a social player, so I'll be, we should be in chat when we are playing. And and, and let me know when you are, because then I'll, I want to be in, uh, I want to be in chat so I can hear. Oh, so you're going to basically kind of stalker it? Yeah. Totally. Uh, Okay, so while we're actually, you know, trying and putting in an effort, Frasley is just going to kind of creep around and stalk. Well, and, and promote you on the podcast <laughs> Twitter and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'll be... I'll be uh, okay, uh, I have a paladin, a shaman, and a warrior that are all created level ones. I mean, make what you want, but I, uh, I, I'm not sure I'd recommend any of them. Don't do monk. Definitely not. Uh, monk has an well, XP See, my druid's already been created, and it's too high level. My rogue has already been done. My DK's already been done. And same thing with my warlock. Oh, definitely don't do a warlock. Warlocks are the worst for it. They may have a pet, but they are so squishy, it's not even funny. My main is a warlock. I know how to play them. Same. My main before the paladin was a warlock, too. So I know that they're squishy. I might do a paladin because it has heals, but that's also why I was thinking of a shaman because it has heals. I main a ret pally. Do not use that. You can cast your heal about five times before you're out of mana and screwed. Yeah, I know that. that I then you, know. then when you bubble, you don't really get enough left. Bas- basically, you end up, you know. Okay, high and dry. so shaman, elemental shaman. Hmm. That that could work. Have you already made? I, I can see that. I can see the shaman working because the shaman, you can cast more heals when you're not actually a healer. Yeah, without but getting completely screwed. And if you're elemental, you're basically are a caster. Yeah, you're starting off farther away already. Yeah. So. Huh. Oh, did you see Wild Challenges has a random race slash, slash cl- class generator? Hmm. Cool. You could I do a, check that out. a blood elf male holy. Do not do a holy priest. <laughs> Just uh, ask. No, ask I, le- I, I leveled holy priest from 1 to 110. So yeah. you, well, you'd know what you were doing. How many times did you die? Um, I usually had a partner, so they killed things while I healed. Um, but when, how many times did you die when you were alone? All the time. Like oh, and I that said, noise don't that you're hearing, breeze. or was hearing, was my cat chewing on my finger. <laughs> he has an, an obsession of chewing. There you go. So, so, um. Oh, yeah, I heard it. That's kind of. Yeah, that that's my cat. So that doesn't hurt. No, because it's not right underneath his teeth; it's right beside his teeth. Oh, so it's more like almost scratching as opposed to chomping. Well, it's not even like he's not even biting me; it's just on the side. He's more biting his tongue. Okay, yeah, I, my cat does the same thing. It's um, cats are weird. So. <laughs> So, War Chief, for names for the characters, I, I want to name. I want to name them. Actually, oh, you know my, what? My, my no, Bradley, are... you should be joining too. You should also be part of it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I'll lose. I'll just watch. <laughs> so, War Chief, what what uh, what character do you want to play? What race? I haven't quite decided, but I'm thinking I'm either going to be a goblin hunter. Because I know the goblin starting is on like the back of my head, <clears throat> like the back of my hand, so I, I wouldn't have to worry about dying, or a troll druid, because the trolls have the voodoo shuffle. Okay, so I, mean, I already main a troll druid, so I kind of don't want to do that. But 
they have the voodoo shuffle. They have their self heals like crazy. So I think you know. I'm gonna do the orc shaman, and I already have a name for it, which I can't pronounce, but that's okay. And Warchief, this is gonna be your name for your troll. I'm not gonna like what I see. Uh, it's in Frazzlecast, right? Yeah. Look. Akwekwe. I think it sounds pretty cool. Oh, uh, oh, should I name him Kofefe? Sure, if you want to. No, oh, just... oh yeah. <laughs> I just got it. <laughs> all hail the great and powerful Kofefe. <laughs> Oh, I now, actually had a Twitter called the Great and Powerful Cafefe for a little while. I I loved all the uh, like the one that was like the night Cafefe the night and stuff like that. Well, there was one that I saw that was really kind of a uh, well. I'll go into it a little more when we go offline. Sounds good. It's, it's a little political, and I don't want to offend people. I know you're more on the neutral. Well, and I, I just I just and, posted uh, my name. Oh, I, I like that one. And, and, and yeah, Warchief, I like we can mention a stuff a little bit, but yeah, probably probably a good idea to stay. Yeah. Um, and I, as for Emma, I'm assuming you don't give a flying rat's ass about American politics because they're not really affecting you, and you guys have a really awesome prime minister. <laughs> um, it does affect us to the fact that we are attached to you. I'm so and sorry. Whatever happens to you guys might backfire on us. That is true. Then I'll type what I want to say instead of saying it, just so I don't accidentally offend anyone. You um, won't offend me at all. Well, other people that are listening. Yes. Which channel are you doing in it? No, I'm, not, I'm not seeing anything yet. Or is it a DM? He's, he's DM. still typing it. Okay. S send it to me too, because I'm, I'm curious now. Yeah, sure. Like, I am very vocal on Twitter about my political stances, but I have a separate Twitter for it. I am totally okay with what you're saying because I feel the same thing. So but you're, I'm guessing you're not overly fond of Kihunis no. Nobby knees. No, not at all. Um, I understand in the most politest way that you guys were kind of between a rock and a hard place who to vote for. Yep. It happens. We had that same issue. Justin Trudeau uh, is awesome, though. No, he, he is. He is. Aw I really wish we had Justin Trudeau. <laughs> he kind of reminds me of Obama in a lot of ways. I think he's better than Obama because I feel like he can get more done. That's like, because he's in a country that is allowing him to get things done. Yeah, like that's the difference. Because Obama had a lot of great ideas, the but he had a lot of people was, getting in the way. Exactly, and I think in his last year and a bit he just gave up and tried to do whatever he could so because Obama wasn't bad and he had a lot of great ideas and even Obamacare was actually really good if it was done the way he wanted it to be done yeah it didn't here's the thing what's really funny to me and uh, I apologize if I do offend anyone who's listening if you go to people and you say, do you like Obamacare? They will say, no, I hate Obamacare. But if you go to the same person and say, do you like the Affordable Care, the Affordable Care Act? They say, yeah, I love it. Do you know what the difference is? Nothing. They're one's the same thing. A, yeah, I was going to say one's called Obama. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It, it was the same thing Microsoft had with Windows Vista. People... Had, had thought Windows Vista was awful, and I'm probably gonna have somebody write it right and be like, "How Windows Vista destroyed my computer and made it all into a, a pudding pie." But <laughs> Windows Vista was bad. So then, I mean, not bad, but you know, what I mean, but people had been told it was bad because of some different things. 
Then they then they show them. Here's Windows Mojave. Oh, Mojave! Wait, is, is this an expression of Windows? I love it. It's it, it's all a name and perception. See, yeah. For me, um, my experience with Vista was bad because it basically I had a laptop and half of the memory space was Vista. Yeah. Oh. So Vista was way too big that uh, what it should have been, but I also haven't really liked like I didn't even like Windows eight, Windows ten I'm tolerating, but I still kind of like XP. I quite like Windows ten. Yeah, but I, I like the fact that it's got Cortana. Ten has quirks. Yeah, they always have better. quirks. Yeah, <laughs> it definitely uh, has quirks. At least ten's not. I just not, focus on the parts that work. Ten's not yeah. quite so. Hey, everything is touch. Everything is touch. Let's let's, let's, let's give you That's a start. Windows menu. eight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Windows eight was emphasizing the fact that. Oh, hey, look, we have new touch devices that are also laptops somehow because magic. It is. Like, hey, so all of our software is going to focus exclusively on the fact that you can touch and ignore the fact that some people still need to use a mouse. But. Um, I knew someone who uh, got Windows 8, and they had a touch screen. So it was okay for them. I didn't have a touch screen, so it was, like, useless. Yeah. It was, hey, 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 here's this great thing we're going to give you. Do you know what's so great about it? The fact that only, like, 10% of our users can use it. <laughs> exactly. The elite. Yes. I guess. And they're not even really the elite. They're just the lucky ones. They just happen to be in just the right place at just the right time. Yeah. Cause, exactly. Because I know somebody got an eight, and it's like, uh, I don't know how to get back to the start menu. I mean, and I, it, it took me a second to be like, uh, oh, click, click that. <laughs> but, you yeah. know, they kept getting pushed to this tile interface, and their computer didn't have touch. All right. Well, I need to go to bed soon. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, do we want to I talk say... about seven? Yeah, go ahead. I say next week. Say we'll talk about it because then there's enough people who, if they want to know stuff, know stuff, and if they don't, they don't have to. So yes. I'm not forcing them. Okay, I'm let's just do. Say this really quick. Spoiler alert. So if you don't want to hear anything about seven point three, don't listen to me. So yep. Um, it's on Argus. <gasps> oh no. Okay. Then... Aren't I evil? I'll say the I'll say this has been Frazzlecast. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, our web- website is Frazzlecast.com. Um, we're at Frazzlecast. This has been Lady Emma and War Chief Sparksman. Okay, now it's spoiler time. Real quick, I want to say one thing about seven point three. This is spoilers, guys. The spaceship. I love that. Yeah, that spaceship is awesome. All, all I know is I want the purple unicorn. Oh, so in in Argus, you can't actually land on Argus. There's a spaceship, so you you you're flying on the spaceship at your home base for Argus. Yeah. That's kind of neat. Yeah. I was like, so, I mean, they're taking the idea of the garrison, which people didn't like. I mean, they didn't like how they did that one, but they're they're actually making it where you have your own little area. I mean, it's, it's kind of like taking the order hall and, and, and giving you your own little thing for Argus. Okay. So it's player housing on a spaceship. On a spaceship, yeah. Which kind of goes, goes, goes with you. It's better player housing, though, because they basically took what they they learned garrisons are an awful idea because then everyone is isolated from everybody and nobody liked that because you know that takes away from the whole point of it being an mmo Mm -hmm. they knew that the order halls were better because there was still a slight social aspect to it because you know there's everyone of your class there but i think this spaceship is better because it's giving them the player housing but simultaneously making it so everyone is in one place so that way people can make that like their home base where they communicate all that fun shit yeah so they're doing player housing sort of in a much better fashion by making it more broad instead of more focused on the individual you also have to remember that uh before the garrison it was the farm that had your own little plays up uh player housing in missa pandaria yeah yeah so they they started it there and it worked really well because people were like, hey, I got my own little space. I just wish there was more stuff in here. And that's when they took it to the garrison. And, and the garrison gave you quite a bit of stuff, but it was lonely. Yeah. And, and with this one, at least 
it's going with you. It's, it's going to be your, your quest hub for all of Argus. And then you can use it to get to different to, to, to get to different areas. So you don't have to always go back to one location. It's kind of the, the ship's flying with you. Kind of like what airships in Final Fantasy XIV should have been. Yeah. I, I don't play Final Fantasy XIV, so I am lost. In, in Final uh, Fantasy... I've seen photos, but the farthest I went was 12. Yeah. Or well, 10. Sorry, 10. Is it free? Is it free to play? Up to 14. any point. Up to 14? And 14 up to a point, but then you have to pay in, to get into any of, the, any of the really good stuff. Yeah, so I'm not going to do that because I'm already paying for a while and I've got my limits. Oh, absolutely. Especially I, I, since I'm only 16, I'm limited to what my parents are willing to pay. I stopped playing so. 14. <laughs> I played 14 when I wasn't playing WoW. And they added a thing called Heaven, Heaven's Word where you're supposed to be like, it's where they added flying, but you were supposed to be able to take an airship around. For what I saw, it didn't quite do the stuff. So, I mean, I'm, I'm hoping the, the spaceship was your stuff. But that, yeah, that's my biggest thing. Oh, and... um. There are no Starbucks on on Argus. Jeez. I know. How are we gonna get our caffeine to fight the Legion? I don't know. Yeah, man. I gotta get my caffeine. I gotta get my fix. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, I gotta get my fix. My main always has a stack of coffee on her, just in case she gets drunk and needs a sober up. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, Canada. Wait. Eh. I didn't know you could use coffee and wow to offset alcohol. Yeah, the coffee and wow is to sober you up from drinking. Nice. I, Does it actually work? Yeah. No, nice. I gotta, I gotta do that. Me too. Yeah. I gotta get that. Today. <laughs> I always had coffee because of that. Because not the miners' coffee or anything, but the actual uh, coffee. Because I would. Uh, you know, um, do achievement runs, and usually when someone's explaining what to do, you kind of get bored. So you bring out the keg pony or yes. the Arctic pup, and you just start drinking. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh, it's achievement time. We we got to go. And you're like, oh shit, I can't see the screen. And you drink the coffee. And but it's fun when you can't see the screen. But if you're doing achievement runs and you have don't want too many wipes, you kind of. You want to be able to see the screen. Yeah. Nah. Okay, I wear I, my, my prescription on my glasses is like my my regular vision without glasses is like twenty two hundred something crazy like that. So for me, fuzzy is normal. <laughs> so I see better in fuzzy because I'm just used to it. Actually, I rescind that statement. I'm so not used to fuzzy, I even fall asleep with my glasses on. I've nearly broken them a few times. But yeah, um, we probably should uh, end the show for now. Yeah, it's not like the show's been going on almost four hours. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I, I, in five minutes, I will be in bed. <laughs> That's good. Well, thank you both for joining me. And uh, um Probably uh, next week sound good. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Thursdays are the back, only just... day I can get. I have no raid days right now, so I'm good. Okay, sounds good. And yeah, Thursday should yeah. should. Yeah, Monday is Canada Day, so. Woo, 150. Nice. So that's 150 years that Canada has been independent from Britain. Yes. Nice. Oh, so it's yeah, a big stick number. it to the Brits. <laughs> stick it to those Brits. My background's British. Uh, not sure how to respond to that. <laughs> I'm first generation Canadian. Are you actually? Yeah, both my parents are okay, European. So, okay, so I'm gonna go shrink into a little hole, being small. No, no, no! I have a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a story for everything? <laughs> I do, I do. Okay, yeah, I like you. You, yes. you are really funny. You have a story for everything. You are officially awesome. Yes. <laughs> okay, so here's the thing. My dad's side's German. My mom's side's British. But also my mom's side is Jewish. So my mom was supposed to marry a Jewish boy. And my great grandmother thought my mom was marrying a Jewish boy. Because he had the black hair, big nose, he looked Jewish. 
on the wedding, when my opa was giving a speech, my great grandmother realized he's German with a thick, <laughs> thick German accent. Right yeah. then, there, my great grandmother went off. Say, you're not allowed to marry him. He's not the one you're supposed to marry. He's wrong. <laughs> nice. That's uh. So you got so, and this is your great grandmother who. Yeah, my great grandmother. So, so guessing, she. At she risk was, of potentially saying something that you might not like, was she just a little bit racist? Well, not only that. Remember, you have to. They were in World War Two. My opa right, was actually right. on the German side. My. My great grandmother had to deal with all the Germans killing Jews and all that. So okay. th that's where the little freak out goes. Okay, um, I guess they get a little bit of a free pass for that. Yeah. Awareness. yeah. But I mean. Um, but so I always tell people I'm constantly internally battling with myself for being a German and a Jew. And it goes silent. <laughs> no, no, no. At the, at, at, Some things I'm always not sure how to. Yeah, no, no. I kind of want to, but on the other hand, it's like, oh, I don't want to be laughing at something. It can no, be construed funny. as racist. It's, no. it's, uh, oh, believe me, I've told I I told my share of uh, racist jokes at at my own expense. Um, so, like, I get that. I just because I think we're still live, so I'm being careful. <laughs> That's a good way to smart idea. <laughs> Is is that is that acceptable? Yeah. Um, <laughs> all right, yeah, that's acceptable. Uh, I totally can't speak. Um, <laughs> just for my safety thing is yes, I know that whole situation with the Germans and all that is horrible and it's not a funny situation at all. But it's my heritage, so it's part of me. Absolutely, and and and, and it's it's showing. And it, it, um, it, it's, about, it's about your grandmother. So, I mean, it's a... Yeah. And uh, I've seen the both sides of it. Um, I got to hear both sides of it. Like, uh, my opa went through, did a lot of stuff. He wasn't part of the Nazi group, but he was on the German war, or German side. It basically, you join or you die. That Those are your two options. Yeah, I don't... Act, like, a lot of the people who... Like... The, the people who are actually in the army, I think they still made the wrong choice because it's they were still allowed by listening to that. They did allow the threats to have power over them. If everyone were to ignore the threats, and I get it because people people want to live, so I do get that. But like as for the German people who are just staying at home, trying to stay under the radar and not get the attention of like the SS, the Einstadtsgruppen, etc. You know, I get that, and I don't blame the regular people, because I know they were just afraid for their lives. Didn't they? There were a large number of people who just straight up did not like him. They they no. did not like him. They they did the best that they could with what they were dealt with, and my oba told me that he never ever killed a single person. Um, he flew in the planes, and they didn't drop or anything, but they were cargo planes. Just transporting cargo. That's all he really did. So his plane didn't have any guns, nothing. Huh. So, and like I said, my opa tried to do the best what he was dealt with. And that's what he was dealt with. And he survived. He met my uh, Oma in the war. And they are still together today in, in their 90s. Nice. So, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so there, there's happy stuff. Absolutely, and and, and oh, there's yeah. there's people who are caught up, um, the the small players who are caught up in the big in the bigger in in, in the in the the bigger picture. It, it, it's always nice to see when, when these smaller players have a have a good ending. I mean, I mean, I mean and, and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean but, but, yeah. Yeah, they have a lot of stories. And a huge life. Like, I compare, if I compare my life to theirs, my life is horrible. They actually had a life and they lived. Yeah. They did a lot, a, a lot of stuff. And especially, like, and they started at, at young, 
very young ages. Yes, and they traveled and they they got to experience things. It's some cool. stuff I'm. It's it's definitely really cool, but I I do kind of in a sense also have some sympathy for the circumstance that a lot of those things had to occur on with World War Two. Yeah. Well, at so, the end of the war, my opa was captured, and they let him go. They were letting very few people go, and he was lucky, and he was one of them. Well, I'm glad everything ended up working out. Yeah. Especially if he was, a, especially since he seemed, based on how you're talking, at least, sounds like he was a good person. So. He's an awesome, very caring person, and uh, very honest. But he could be strict. Well, that's just kind of, just kind of in like an older kind of style of doing this, I guess. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, but if my grandparents you want to know his sixth strict. sense of humor, he has a sixth sense of humor. As in like... like crude, crude jokes. That is not safe for podcast. Ah, okay, so that, that tells me all I need to know right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like a quagmire-esque sort of thing? Uh, some stuff, yes, yeah. Or primarily, um, more like, uh, like just generic Seth MacFarlane. Generic. Sorry, okay. my cat just dropped Trivia Pursuit. <laughs> it, got, it got mad. It was like, I didn't get this question. Uh. <laughs> That's just cat, what cats do. I will say cats are really painting. So I'll, yeah. I'll constantly watch videos of them. Like, they'll be about to push a glass off of a really high spot, and their owner will be like, no, no, what are you doing? Stop, no. And the cat will look at the owner, give them just kind of a look of, what? And while staring at them, just push it off and push yeah. it out of the glass. What happened here was my cat went to lie down, and his butt pushed it off the edge of the desk. Okay. But that, is a, that is what you call a fat-ass cat. I told you, he's 17 pounds. I don't have any perspective, because I don't know what a cat should weigh. A cat should probably weigh a little bit more than your Chihuahua dog. So about 10 pounds. But yeah, um, A little bit around there. Eight. Well, I have one cat that's 4 pounds, and he's 17 pounds, so... Yeah. What, what is the uh, weight of an unladen swallow in the Pacific? Oh, I, I I just messed up the Monty Python line. <laughs> uh, here's a Monty Python line I have yet to mess up because it's impossible to mess up. No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. <laughs> uh, now I'm reminded, I'm reminded of the opening of a of a meaning of life with the hostile takeover. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember. I liked the meaning of life. As for the Holy Grail, I thought that was just dumb. I think I grew up on the Holy Grail. Me too. Yeah. All right, well, I need to go to bed because I am now five minutes past my bedtime. That sounds good. Yeah, I I should go to bed too. Well, thank you both, and uh, see you next week. Yeah, see ya. And maybe we'll not be so distracted and roundabout. Maybe. Probably not. Yeah. ADD yeah. for the win. No. Yeah. Hey, it's fun. Yeah. Well, I'm off because I need to get food and sleep because I have a wicked headache. Aw. Don't you okay. aw me. But you're so cute and sweet and innocent. Innocent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Add oh. a, for a few more years, and then you won't. You'll be out of the innocent range. Trust me, I'm not. I mean, it depends on what context you're referring to with innocent. Well, I could tell you more stories, but that's for another show and another time. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's save that because I seriously need food because my head is killing me. Yep. Okay. I'm okay. actually in quite a bit of pain. I so. will talk to you guys later. All right. See ya. See ya.